And we're live. Welcome to Beers with Bad Company. I'm your host, Bad Company. Listen, if you're a minor, don't drink on YouTube. Pretty sure it's against the law. Everybody else, however, bottoms up. Now, today is going to be a very uh, special show. Because we're fucking live in Ireland and still alive somehow. God knows. Through fucking St. Patty's Day. <laughs> Dude, did you see the thumbnail of this fucking for tonight's video? Uh, I took a quick look at it. And we're live. Uh, uh, yeah, you got to turn your volume off if you're going to be watching it at the same time. But yeah, he's going to leave his fucking volume on. Fucking David. Listen, Every fucking time. Yeah, I'm just going to sit here. I'm not going to look at YouTube, I guess. Yeah, you don't need to. Three, You're two, on with us. Why would you need to? But I don't. Either way, if you saw the thumbnail, that was a live action photo from uh, what time would you say that thing was? 4.30. Four thirty. Dude, what a fucking rough one. <laughs> yeah, I saw the I saw the wheelbarrow, uh the wheelbarrow skit. Dude, I'm telling you, you sent a couple of Canadians over here to Ireland. And we want to show the Irish that they can't drink worth of shit and they can definitely not keep up. Turns out uh -oh. I can't even keep up with me when I'm trying to drink that hard. <laughs> holy fuck, what a mess. B apparently can. Huh. I don't know how the here. fuck that works, though. Uh, my uh, leg is a little is more sturdy. I hear that the Guinness in the pubs there is actually a lot nicer than you know what we get in a can or whatever. Oh, yeah. The fucking Guinness here at the fucking pubs. Fucking incredible, especially at Ma Baker's. Oh, we um, we tried to, to buy fucking uh, Roy a Ma Baker shirt. And they wouldn't sell us one. And they wouldn't let me steal the one behind the glass cage. They wouldn't sell you one? No. And they wouldn't even let me steal the one that was there. Oh. Like, pretty fucking rude of somebody not to let you steal. I know. It's not very. It's not very Irish of them. Yeah, I'm not very good at fucking thieving, you know, because I fucking told them I was trying to do it. Well, you <laughs> told them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, they they told me they wouldn't give me any more beer if I did that. Oh, well, then I guess you can't do it. No, I didn't. I fucking didn't. I couldn't. I mean, priority. My beer. So, St. Patty's Day in Ireland is like way less. St. Patty's festive. I was gonna ask you. Yeah, I was gonna ask you, do they even celebrate it there? Well, everybody's fucking pissed. But I mean, that's also Wednesday morning. It's Ireland. Like everybody's just like the whole <laughs> time anyways here. Right? Yeah. Like we get up and we have a pint and we go for breakfast and have a few more pints. And nobody looks at you weird here. Like the ones that are sitting there not having a beer with breakfast are the ones that are getting fucking cross-eyed. Right. What the fuck is wrong with that guy? Fucking Jamal must be from the States or something, not having a fucking beer with their breakfast. Yeah. Weird. I think B's still fucking hung over from Sunday though. <laughs> uh, it's been a it's been a, it's been a good time. Yeah, I had a late night, uh, late night, well, late day yesterday. I didn't go to bed till what about 10 o'clock last night. But I, I had stayed awake from the previous morning when I got up at 9 and went to bed at 4 a.m. I just stayed, again, I've stayed awake for over 24 hours. It's really freaky. <sighs> I don't know how Any I do it. Irish person that attempted to maintain pace with the Canadians <laughs> all had to fake the flu for the next two days. Did they? Because they won't admit <laughs> to being hungover. <laughs> all right. That's how proud the Irish are of their drinking. That they will take antibiotics that they know good and goddamn well they don't fucking need just to make it seem like it's not a hangover. They're sick. Mm. We're talking about Marcus. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh, man. Every time he tries to say he can drink with us, he gets fucked up. Yeah. Now, I definitely got fucked up. Okay, yeah, you guys I was probably the most fucked up person in Ireland that night. <laughs> it would be tough for anybody to have been more fucked up than me and still alive today. No. We definitely drank enough to kill a normal person. It wasn't safe. 
It was not safe. Drunk enough to kill six elephants. Well, they have this uh, fun little game in Carlingford where there's like leprechauns around and you're supposed to try to find them. B and I thought we were fucking uh, being tricky and onto something here. <laughs> and we were going to search at the bottom of every whiskey bottle we found. Yeah. And um, I don't think we found any leprechauns. Okay. But on the whole way home, so I wasn't actually falling over. What was actually happening was I was looking for leprechauns and they're very little, right? So you got to be on your hands and knees crawling to see if they're hiding underneath benches and stuff. That's that's what oh, yeah. I was doing. Uh, you were you were looking high. I was looking low. Wolf was looking in a thorn bush. Yeah, well, the fucking leprechauns weren't hiding in that thorn bush either. <laughs> oh man, it was like fucking. It was like walking home with a bunch of toddlers walking, that were just yeah. starting to learn how to walk. Like you know an extremely I mean? drunk toddler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was fucking up, man. Is there, what's the weather like? Uh, say, thank God, armed gods invested in wheelbarrows for, uh, for this event because we, we actually need them. Oh. Are we going to get that drunk again on armed gods? I hope not, but I mean, I have no confidence that we... Zero confidence. Yeah. It, it's We're willpower. Going. We have no fucking willpower is the problem. Like... <laughs> I'm going to get that drunk before the tack match. Yeah. Guaranteed, I don't feel a fucking thing. And of course, everybody's been oh, saying, no. of course, alcohol will make you bleed more. Yeah, anybody sitting in the front row is going to get sprayed for sure. <laughs> sprayed. Yeah, it's going to be... Oh. <laughs> What's it going to be like the Adams family? You know what I mean? When they're doing the play? Yeah. That's going to be you. <laughs> oh, man. I might be real. Dude. What a fucking shit show. We didn't get back to the house until like 6 a.m. And apparently I didn't even have pants when we got here. I found uh -oh. your pants. Wolf found my pants later, I guess. Uh, <laughs> your pants. I woke up bright and early at the crack of two and stumbled down fucking stairs to find fucking Fox here. It was way too fucking energetic to fucking deal with. Oh, man. After a night of drinking that hard. <laughs> And B's sitting here at the fucking table, already fucking, you know, getting ready for his fucking special blend of breakfast. I took one look at his eyes. You're still fucking hammered, aren't you? I was in the afternoon. I was drunk. Yeah, that yeah, was four. It was, it was four. four I thought it was two o'clock. Oh, yeah, it was four. It was the crack of evening. Yeah. It was the crack of evening. It was the crack of evening. Yeah. yeah. The crack of dust. Like some people like to start at dawn, some people like to start at dusk. Look, as long as you have a beer first thing, you can still drink all day. Yeah. We did. Dude, it is real easy to avoid a hangover when you wake up absolutely pissed. Yeah, no, I was I was still at like an eight when I woke up. You just were wasted all day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't start yeah, getting I woke so up wasted. Up. I don't. I just started actually sobering up until I think like nine, ten o'clock. There's lots of footage out there. Yeah. Oh fuck. Yes. What day is it today? Tuesday. Thursday. What Thursday. day was that? Thursday. Sunday or Sunday, the eighteenth. So we only had one day in between. Yeah. But we're drunk again. Yeah. Mm. Fuck. <laughs> If anybody thinks I'm not taking this match seriously and training hard for it, oh my, I am. <laughs> I've been doing drop sets at the pubs, right? So I start doing my 16 ounce curl, but you take a mouthful and now it becomes a 12 ounce curl. Then you take another mouthful and it becomes an eight ounce curl. Then you take another mouthful, it's a four ounce curl. And then you got to go and start your next set back at 16, right? <laughs> but I've been doing a lot of drop sets. Nice. Yeah. That should really help with the, uh, you know, like uh, stamina and stuff. And <laughs> if anybody thinks they're going to keep up, no, not good. when we're fucking going bottle for bottle chugging. We literally chugs. fucking just chug the bottle of Jack Daniels, the two of us, within five minutes. Just oh passed it back god. and forth. It took us each three sips and the bottle was gone. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, that's some hardcore freaking stomach damage for me, man. At the bottle of Jameson, we were like 
we were pretty sensible about that took us like an hour to go through that and we were using shot glasses and like measured and sipping our pints in between yeah. a bottle of jack it was literally just chugging at five six shots at a time back and forth and then it was gone and that's pretty well where all the lights got turned off well yeah, yeah. I took a bottle of fucking honey jack at about 3 30 and i'd say that'll that'll make you have a nice uh slippery walk home I am covered in bruises, my knees, my hips, my elbows. Blood. I got fucked up. Yeah. Wolf got the shit beat out of him by a thorn bush. Oh my uh -oh. In, my, in my defense, it was way more than one. <laughs> it was more <laughs> than one. Chain. 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 It was, it was a whole gang of thorns. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, seriously, well, it was I'm terrible. Not, I'm not allowed to say bad words. Right? Like, B had to go and help Wolf from the sucker ambush from the thorns. Yeah. yeah. And he just left me all the alone. On the road. I was getting, <laughs> man, I have never been sucker punched that hard by a fucking sheet of pavement in my life. Yeah, it just <laughs> blindsided me out of nowhere, pavement, pow, right in the fucking face. And he just he left me there getting fucked up by the pavement to go help Wolf. I swear to God, he got run over by a fucking Fuck. car. It felt road. like I got run over by a car when I woke up. Oh, man. Wow. It's good times. And every fucking car on the road would have been drunk at that time. Probably Absolutely. They're probably aiming for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's St. Patrick's Day. All the cars are fucking engineered to run on Pochett. Yeah, that was one shitty walk home. Yeah. Well, lucky for me, I don't remember it. And it wasn't pissing down rain. It was that drizzly yeah. fucking... Was it raining? Hang, and it was just hanging. You guys let me roll around the pavement like that in the rain. I was looking for we had no choice. I was looking for that. How did nobody get sick? I didn't puke. Marcus got sick. Did he puke? No. Well, I mean, that wouldn't be... Oh, Marcus, he got the flu, though. That's different. He needs antibiotics. It was that porridge, I told you. Uh, when I, uh, that, that bowl of porridge I had, I'm like, this is going to be the binder that keeps everything together I today. Porridge. I know. I probably should have. Maybe I could have walked to it. Uh, ah. Maybe not. Fuck that. We were fucking wasted. <laughs> oh, uh, Irresponsibly drunk. Perfect. But, I mean, like, why the fuck else would we fucking come to Ireland a week early just to be here for St. Patty's Day if we weren't going to do that? Well, yeah. Would have been, would have been a wasted trip. Sacrilegious, you would say. So, the Irish are supposed to be able to drink. Yeah. When is Marcus actually going to show up and show out, like, and hold his own for his country? I mean, I've yet to see it, but, like, I'm still hopeful. Like, do you think he's just making it up now? I mean, like, how many times are we going to offer him opportunity? I, look, I, I understand that they just make him different in the Valley, and, and we're a different breed, right? Mm -hmm. But I think the fucking girls from the Valley can out drink most of the Irish men. <laughs> Look, I I bled last night like, way more than you and Uncle John are going to be bleeding. <laughs> I doubt it. Covered in blood. So is your fucking bed. We had to wash this oh, fucking dude. bed sheets like fucking four times to get rid of all the blood from that like fucking fight you picked with the thorns. In there. Dude, why would you pick a fight with an entire gang? Yeah, I thought B had my back. We did. I mean, my front. Well, he had your front. The thorns had your back. <laughs> no, no, no. Not to that. Just out of nowhere, he disappears. Okay. And it's just his feet sticking out of the thorn bush. Yeah. Nobody knows how that happened. I am hollering, B, B. I'm looking around. I'm like, where the fuck is he? I see his fucking feet. Does it not even kick it? Just two shoes. Couldn't move. Uh, that would have been yeah, box. Every time he moves, the thorns just cinch it up even tighter and tighter. Yeah. Even more joined in. Yeah, they were the poking right into you. They came after me, right? Oh, man. So, damn leprechauns. I blame the leprechauns. That's what it was. <laughs> you didn't even find one in there. <laughs> it was a waste of time. It was a waste of everything. Yeah, I should have looked in there. It was no. a trap. It was a leprechaun trap. But right? I, but I, B is my savior. Yeah. yeah. Savior. I, think I don't know why he left you. It just shows you. I mean, what, what to say about it, right? Well, he just knows that I can hold my own, and the pavement didn't look all that tough. Bush <laughs> was looking a little more of a threat than the pavement at that point. Oh, oh, <laughs> so, it was a good time. Uh, then we got to go find the Leprechaun Caverns. We went for a walk through about fucking four miles of seashells today. That was weird. Walking on 
that many seashells. Like imagine you're not walking on sand or you're literally walking on seashells. It looks when you're standing there, it looks like it's all stone and gravel yeah. until you get closer. You look down and it's just millions and millions of fucking shells everywhere. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the low tide, the low tide. You can, you can little, like, is it like spot. curly ones or so little zebra mussels or something? I wonder. I don't know. There's fucking all sorts of everything. And they're all yeah. crunchy. Yeah. Crunchy. <laughs> it's mushy and crunchy. It's very unsettling. Yeah, I went but last time I went down to the north like... shore of Lake Ontario. Yeah, the whole beach. And I mean, even on the, where where there's like a cliff where the sand and then there's dirt, you know, and then the grass. Like it must have been like about a meter tall, and it was all just dead zebra mussel bodies, all white, crunchy. You know, I took I was driving a a quad down the beach, and uh, everywhere you looked it was all these just little zebra mussel shells, like deep, like about and and, the, and it smelled. Like Lake Ontario, the North Shore, like stinks like rot. I have not had a sense of smell since I got COVID in 2021, but mm. I'd imagine it couldn't have smelled that fucking great, all those fucking shells like that. I was smoking weed, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's natural here. Absolutely. Yeah, we're allowed to do that. That explains the it's, uh, those weird plants that would pop yeah. when you step on them. It's like walking on a uh, bubble wrap. Yeah, yeah, not a fucking glue. It was kind of fucking weird. Yeah, it was weird. Oh, was, was that weird. on the beach? Uh, yeah, no. The low so when the tide goes out, you walk right yeah, down. It's like kelp, kelp and these bladder. Exactly. Things. Exactly. Yeah, Is that make how we make a breathing bubbles. apparatus out of kelp? I don't know if it's kelp. The ones with the bubbles. I don't know what it's called. The ones with the bubbles, like yeah, you, you, well, you know what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I've been on a beach and east coast and west coast and yeah i've seen those it's like uh it's like some kind of seaweed kelp and it has like air bladders in it and yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, maybe uh, like, they're all over when you step on them it's like walking on bubble wrap so it's like seashells yeah, and bubble wrap uh, strange there's a national geographic uh, <laughs> no probably <laughs> should we watch it yeah should we watch it do it now. we'll put it on yeah. we'll let everybody see and that's what we'll just do for this episode. The highlights. It'll be like a uh, it. I mean, educational episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Story fun. time with uh, Bad Company and the Big B. Yeah. Yeah, please, please. Narrated by the fucking no. Dar- David Attenborough of our show here, fucking White Wolf. <laughs> David Attenborough. If it occurs to you, you're David Attenborough. Shot, Get some shots for me of, you know, the where you like the lake or the river or where, ocean or wherever you are and the, and some sur- some of the surrounding stuff. Even even the uh uh what do you call it the uh, uh architecture would be cool to see. Yeah, we got to do a cool tour of uh the King John Castle here in Carlingford today. King John, oh that sounds really cool. Like I I would yeah. eat that right up, man. I'd love that. I love that stuff. Yeah, they go through the whole story and the wars that were fought there, and fucking when the different sections of the castle were built and what years. So that look the original structure was built like a thousand years ago though. Wow. Did they give you the ground? No, they won't give us grappling hooks. Otherwise, we'd go back in there tonight. <laughs> Dad won't need a grappling hook to get in there. It's not going to happen. After midnight. <laughs> but there was a yeah, light song. Sometimes so about castles good. all over Europe. I'm sure, like, people, teenagers and stuff would party in them if they're abandoned castles. Oh, you know, teenagers break in there and they go down into the uh, citrine and yeah. drink beers down there. Teenagers yeah. and Canadians. You know what? That's that's where that smell was coming from. The freaking citrine that Joe Biden's old diaper. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that prick probably did shit yeah. himself there too. Oh, Gary, he, that, <laughs> that prick probably had to change him. Why would? Oh, that's just so gross. Like uh, like we were the first tour of the season, by the way. You know, we had them. Open they opened the, the castle, castle just for us, yeah. yeah. And like I'm like, oh, this is cool. But then I'm like, wait a minute, what's that? What's that freaking horrendous smell? And then I remembered old Sleepy Joe had been. I thought it was there. weird that you know what Joe Biden smells like. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, like awful. if you have if you've had kids or worked in healthcare, you know what a dirty diaper smells like. Well, a dirty diapers one thing, but Joe Biden's dirty diaper. Okay. Well, I, how did you know it was Joe's? Because uh, you can. Oh, I'm not. No, I'm not going to say that. That was a little aggressive. I wonder weird no, things. He is not. Uh, he is yeah, not. how does plumbing work in those castles? I He's your president. Oh, yeah. oh, look at that! It's Marcus pretending to be fucking sick with Marcus. a little fucking thermometer. <laughs> 
Marcus Thompson. You know how bad it is for your liver to take fucking antibiotics when you don't need them just because you can't actually drink, Marcus? <laughs> oh yeah, Marcus. Marcus needs to learn to to stick to his guns. When when he says no shots, you know what I mean? do you remember when Marcus said no more shots? No more shots. How? What? I had to ask him or call him a pussy for not having a shot. What? Like seven or eighteen times. That was it. And then into the shots. He sure was. No willpower. No. No. I just. So, I mean, like, we could talk about arm wrestling tonight a little bit if we wanted to. Yes. I mean, yeah. I mean, there is, like, one of the biggest cards ever, like, happening in a couple days. Quite possibly the best arm wrestling event that's ever been done. Especially now that we have an actual arm wrestler on the show with us. Yeah, okay, here, comes, here comes BLM. Yeah. You know, plus, you know, having... Fucking Marky Mark there. He's not bringing the Funky Bunch, which is a little disappointing, but... That was disappointing. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, maybe he'll be there and he'll feel the vibrations and we'll have a good time. Come on, come on. All we got to do is send him a couple of, like, lewd photos of Fox and Mark will for sure come. I don't think anybody actually wants to see Fox running around naked. It takes, like, six pints and he's just running around naked all the fucking time. <laughs> and the dude's got way too much fucking energy. You can't catch the little prick. Okay. <laughs> it's like trying to catch a fucking greased piglet. Uh, <laughs> you will do no such fucking thing. I'll give you back now. You I'm will sure. fucking not. You will keep your goddamn pants on in the house. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's up, boys? Lay down low. Slow up over hill. You all ready to go? There he is. Just finishing up my packing. Those are the three letters of doom right there. Oh, BLM. Yeah. Oh, the riots will be starting soon when he gets here. Dude, did you ever make a good decision by not coming early with us? Fuck yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Regret no. all the way. <laughs> I don't know if he would have made it. Thousand percent regret. No, he'd still be he'd still be hurting. Like he'd he'd still be hurting today. I mean, he'd yeah. still be drunk. We still are. Yeah. He's your yeah, like he, he doesn't have been drinking three, he doesn't three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah, I'm down to two thirty. Look at all those bad boys. Are you already on weight? Look at that, boys. Are you still fat after losing all that weight? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get it. So I'm definitely have some beers. Wait, for sure. who's Mulvihill pulling again? Who is he playing? Oh, like oh that's ball. right. That oh, fucking yeah. Iron Wars guy. That fucking cunt. I keep forgetting because the match doesn't interest me at all. Like, I thought we were going to get, like, a close match. And they all they could come up with was fucking Bogdan. Like, just nobody wanted to smoke. I feel good. I know. I feel really good. That's for sure. Healthy, hydrated, fucking light on my feet. Like, you can't lose to this fucking guy. Like, you can't. Like, I don't think you actually could. <laughs> like, you would have to go out of your way to try to lose to this guy. Like, I'm pretty sure you would beat this guy. Your hand, your hand. Even if you were here. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Uh, beer hand's trying to get himself fucking fired. Yeah. It's a replacement beer hand for tonight. So have you have, have either of you checked out the venue yet? That's you true. The beer hand must be completely incompetent at all times or it's not the real beer hand. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It reminds me of home. It reminds me of home. <laughs> Look at fucking Marcus. Ow. Like fucking howling. I think he meant saying like, ow. <laughs> ow. That's what I was saying. Ow. Fucking Marcus sitting there with a sore vagina. I can't fucking drink anymore. Uh, he's like, 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 I know, like, I know he loves us, but I don't think he loves drinking with us anymore. <laughs> Have you? Uh, no, he it? likes doing it during the day when we let him keep up. Yeah. Just look, whenever the sun goes down and it's time to turn up the fucking heat, you know, that's when he fakes sick. No. <laughs> Have you taken a look at the venue yet? Have you been there yet? No. Jesus, I was. Just outside, though. 
But it's a big looking place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a big venue. Big venue. Yeah. We don't. Uh, I'm not worried about it. No, Once okay. the venue gets set up and the pit gets built, and we have the walkouts and the lights and the smoke and everything ready to go, wherever it is that we are, becomes the coolest fucking place in the world right now. It does. I've been through it before. It's amazing. I, I, and this I even, one's going to be the best one yet. I even got the t-shirt. No, I loved it. This that was one is going event. to be the best one yet. Absolutely. I mean, and uh, that was probably one of the last times I left the house. So, there will you know, be blood. There will be blood. That I promise. That's what it is. Valhalla 3. There will be blood. Yeah. Like, how much do you need to fucking bleed to make it to Valhalla? Hmm. A lot. All right. of it. I'm thinking maybe I don't drink as much as I normally would for this match so I can leave a little bit of blood in my alcohol system. Your arm is just going to explode the second it hits the, the fucking the pin pad. Like it's like just fucking gonna... geyser. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's gonna be a freaking. It's gonna. It's gonna be skin and bone after. It's, it's all look, there now. It's gonna look weird. Ah. It's gonna look weird. I, I can't oh, wait. I can't wait to see the first. Away. Too much whiskey. I can't wait to see the first images of the table set up, ready to go, ready for blood. Dude, wait till you see the images of the table after the fucking match. Yeah, those two. Yeah, I, I, I hope somebody takes lots of pictures of that. It's gonna look like a fucking horror show. Like, do you have to have a fucking loud ass chip bag right in front of the goddamn speaker? And the whole table better be white. Gonna be well, it, it would make most sense if it was. That table's gonna be painted red. Right? Right? Sheets were white. Were, were. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, we definitely need to have a bottle of pots in there to sterilize all the cuts on the arms. You know. Lights all a. Oh, man. And the fucking thumbtacks, they're not, like, secured to the pad real tight. Like, I mean, they're there so that they'll be held in place kind of thing, so they're gonna be fucking entering the arm. Yeah. But they're gonna break free from the pad, too. So, like, in between you rounds... You might get one. So, you might like get back in the stuck. corner. Yeah. And instead of where you, you sit stuck down in and your arm. teammates to rub your arm out and fucking get the blood moving, the blood will be moving just fucking fine. You're gonna <laughs> to fucking pull the goddamn tax out of your arm before we go up to the next round. No, you should... Okay, there. we should vote on that. We should vote on that. Should you leave the tax yeah. in or pull them out? Oh, no. They gotta come out. That's where you get the blood. If the tax are still in, you don't bleed. Good point. Good point. Yeah. Yeah, like, I'm going to be drunk as fuck. Whoever's sitting in the front row, is, they're getting sprayed. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what they paid the money for, though. Like, like, it, it, they it'll be like a burgoyne blood bukkake yeah, for everybody in yeah. the front row. <laughs> you know what? It, it, it's going to be like in Blade, right at the beginning scene when they turn the water on. At the rave. Yeah, yeah at the rave. The rave. The blood that's coming the, out of all the exactly. fucking sprinklers. It's gonna be a fucking excellent analogy. I'm it's telling you, red mask. It's oh, gonna, gonna be, be a good time. If you're in the first row, you're getting splashed. Yeah. You're getting splashed. Bring your rain suits. <laughs> arm gods are Bring arm up. gods raincoats. Why can't I grab the point? Yeah, extra available for another Our twenty euro. Gladiators, you're gonna, want, you're gonna want it. Yeah. No. People, people are naturally attracted to gladiator sports. Maybe not everybody, but I think a lot of people are. It's a primal weird thing to see people in it. You know what the thing is specifically with this match? Love it or hate it, you're gonna fucking watch it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. what the fuck yeah. just happened there? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Who's yeah, not gonna watch this? Yeah. Even the haters, even the people who are sitting there. Oh, and the haters, they're, they're gonna watch it. They're, they're gonna click. Yeah. 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 It's like a fucking train wreck. You just can't look away. And the fact that <laughs> the match and like one of the top assholes, like let alone in the yeah. province in arm wrestling, we know that. You just know what I mean? In the fucking sport in general. Like there's probably people from like your hometown that are traveling here just to watch you get mopped up. I know this. Yeah. Yeah. You know what the fun thing is? He's the only guy that people consider a bigger fucking dickhead than me in the sport. That is true. He is like this is I should have two of the top fucking top fucking dickheads in this board. You know, see John and Evan both get whacked. Fuck is that? That's what it is. This show. 
The dickhead bell. Oh, that's fucking Marcus's antibiotics. Fucking watermelon wine, tonic wine. Fucking cold what the fuck, fuck is this? Fifteen percent alcohol, don't be a bitch. It's a nice oh, label, though. It's not tasty, though. No, that ain't it. Oh, that ain't it. Uh, that one, it's not for me. Yeah, for me. That ain't it. No, we better leave this and save it for Marcus. Yeah, 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 Marcus. There's some fucking antibiotics for you, buddy. Come on down. <laughs> How's the weather there? Ah, Maybe. fucking pissy rainy all the fucking time. Like 12, 13 degrees, but always drizzling. You know, you get a few hours of sun each day, and that's about it. Like you're underwater all the time. Today was actually a really nice day. Today we we, yeah. we got to capitalize, which was nice. Okay. It was, uh, I want to look that. I want to look up that place well, on the map. I can't even picture it in my mind. It's a part of the country. It's in. Tomorrow's supposed to be 13 degrees and sunny, so we're we'll gonna get fucked up in Dublin. I am. Yeah, tomorrow is gonna be. It's gonna be a fun train ride home. It's gonna be a fucking. It's gonna be a train wreck on a train ride. Train wreck. Yeah, big time. Are we allowed to wreck the train? Hashtag team train wreck. <laughs> Team train wreck. Yeah, yeah, we're coming in hot. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's... You're the problem. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's it. You need to wear that, and then he wears like asshole after consuming alcohol in the shirt. There. Oh, I, yeah. We're gonna have to wash that. Yeah. I'm the problem. So uh, fucked up on the train. Did you know? Can we pull like a Chrysler and like just rob people with the mafia? We could. Yeah, the machine, the Irish mafia. Yeah, I am the machine. The with machine gun. <laughs> so that, that whole fucking story with that dude. So he was just in Ottawa, like yeah, 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 yeah. My, Like a c- couple of my brothers went to the show, but, uh, yeah. and yeah. when he started telling the story, a lot of people just thought that this was some made-up bullshit, right? Oh, yeah, it's true. So since then, he's fucking like looked up old classmates that were fucking in school, and every one of the. Post like, yeah, no, it's true. That fucking dickhead robbed us. <laughs> that fucking scumbag motherfucker. Yeah, he totally fucking robbed us. They took my dead grandmother's engagement ring. They they just fucking robbed us completely. Every one of us. But what are you gonna do? It's the Russian mafia in Russia. Did you watch the movie that he did? No. Oh, you gotta watch it. It's called The Machine. Nice. Yeah, yeah, you're you're gonna like it. It's like so he does like the it's that, but then it's it's him like going back like he, for some reason he has to go back there and he has to go like see some of the same people that he met on the train oh, yeah? and shit. Like it's good. It's really good. It's yeah. fucking hilarious. I can't wait. No, no, you like it. He's like an awesome bird, right? He's he's sort of like a like a funnier version of you. Like, you know, is that possible? Dick. Yeah. Thank you, man. Oh, this is why he came and got me. Well, I mean, he makes millions of dollars to be funny, so yeah. Like, if I was as funny as him, I'd be fucking rich too. And no matter what he says, you know, the nice thing is, he's like, no matter what, I'll always keep myself healthy, healthy enough, enough to drink. To drink. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, the man, man likes his drink. endless mimosas. Yeah. Fuck it, hey. Yeah. Let's go. I'm not gonna lie though, endless no, mimosa no, brunches no. are awesome. Are those the real things? Yeah. Where do we go to get that? Ottawa. Yeah, why have you never told me about this before? Because I'm usually pretty muffed up on Sundays. <laughs> we just don't go to bed. <laughs> there is that. We just go straight from the party to, to the, the endless mimosa. Yeah, yeah, we'll bring the party with us. That would have that would have over well. For who? For anyone else in that establishment. When we're in the, over there on fucking two day old warmed over shit for endless mimosas. I just feel bad for the toilets. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, what are we going to eat? What are you guys going to feed your Every fucking toilet here. Every single fucking toilet in the town fucking wishes it was born a saint. It does. Like, they're not happy. Oh, man. Mommy was trying to say something, but nobody was listening. Sorry, man. We're drunk. What? No, I was just saying, where's the first place we're going to eat after I can get in there and weigh in? I'm not feeling this time. Romas. Carling for arms. Go to the arms? Carling for arms. That's what we're eating there Friday. Friday. I know. Yeah, we got to do that sizzling steak there Friday. But he weighs in Thursday. Sounds good. Do they have a good breakfast special there or something? 
Yeah, they call it the fry. Over here, the the, the breakfast special is called the fry. This is a okay. And it's um, nice. white and black pudding, um, a warm tomato, which is usually warmed over fucking shit. And then your usual poached egg, hash brown. Those sauteed mushrooms used to be good, though. Yeah. Is, there, is there an oyster joint around? That's nice. Yeah. Clear. No, it's uh the, the food here isn't like whales. The food's way better. Is yeah, the, food's fucking, yeah. the food's awesome here, but the drugs are shit. Uh, is your oyster <laughs> on? Oh, yeah. crazy, dude. What is you got another pizza? No. Where the fuck does he keep pulling these pizzas no, from? No. I hope it's not as ours. Like he just leaves the kitchen <laughs> for three minutes and comes back with another full fucking pizza. Well, I guess he just wanted, he had a little nibble out of the first one, a little nibble out of the second. Where the fuck was he the other night whenever we couldn't find any fucking right. food? I had to eat fucking yeah, chip sandwiches in the food. middle of the bar. Yeah, he wasn't here. They're actually so in his defense. He wasn't here. My job is to meet you up. You're satisfied and you want to come back. I mean, I think we need to get Fox on in the stacks. You might need to get those pants off. Uh oh. Oh, fuck. America's Thompson spending his fucking antibiotic money on me tonight. Oh, God. That's a red hundred. I can see it yeah. in, the, in, the, in the patio. All right. I'm fucking the 200 euro money slam this time, Wolf. Here's some yeah, coin. Funny, huh? Here's some yeah. coin to buy some strong antibiotics for your trip to Dublin. I recommend pouring it into the beers. Extra strength. Don't believe in the fake news. We have a drinking contest Saturday night. No shots. Ow, ow, ow. Marcus, we're drinking fucking shots, bud. Slancha. Slancha, not the beer hand. Don't be a dickhead. You're drinking shots with us. All of the shots. We got that bottle of red breast. Red breast. Three piece. We, oh, we're not three pieces of red breast. No. Oh man, it's, it's too good. It's too good. Yeah, that's too good of a fucking proper whiskey to fucking just abuse. I'm, like, in the three I'm having of some. Shit. We got a bottle of Jack right there. Yeah. I definitely want to have it. I'd rather. You then put it in the season, baby. Yeah. No. Oh man, aggressive. I mean, we we've got booze. We got booze. Oh, that's good. We got a few vodkas, a few whiskeys. Um, might even be a bottle of gin or something lying around. Oh yeah. yeah. I still want to try B's vodka. The Grim? No, you don't. I don't? No, you don't. Okay. Don't do it. Okay. Do you like vodka? Can you do, can you do uh, it's one of the cleaner things to drink, yeah. So do you drink vodka? I don't drink a lot of liquor anymore, but... Uh, well, okay, do, if, you, if you don't drink vodka, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Is that really oh, well, wait a minute. I mean... Uh, it absolutely you... fucking destroyed drinking vodka for me. Like, because it's so good. I don't want to drink any other vodka after that. Like yeah, everything well, else tastes like fucking dog piss. I cannot drink, uh, you know, the mass produced stuff. Like I don't want to drop yeah. names, but you know, I can't drink that mass produced. Oh, go ahead. Nobody watches this show, anyways. It's okay. It's fucking. Well, I do like. Uh, there's one that I did try that I actually wasn't very impressed with, and that's that Dan Aykroyd's uh, Skull Vodka, whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, the Crystal Skull. So. The crystal crystal vodka. I love that. So they've got the three different types, the normal stuff, then they have the Aurora, and then they have the uh, the Onyx ones. So the okay. Onyx one is made with, uh, I don't know how to fuck you say that, is agave? Agave. Agave, agave that's yeah. what you say it? Okay, so the Onyx one's made with that, so it's almost like a weird tequila almost then. Yeah. Um, the Aurora one is made from, uh, I think it's wheat from yeah. over in the UK. Okay. And then the regular one is made from um, the, the corn. It's a sweet corn. Uh, it's a corn batter. Yeah, what the fuck's the name of the corn? The, the sweet fucking peaches and cream? Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Fucking, so they make it all from the corn in Saskatchewan. The agave oh, all right. comes from the same high-quality farm down in Mexico. All the peaches and cream corn comes um, from this one place in Saskatchewan. And then the Aurora stuff is all uh, made from a wheat over here. That's Not a lot of people in Saskatchewan grow corn. I love that vodka. It's it was my fucking very favorite vodka until I tried Brothers Grin. Okay, and now I don't even want to drink that. Well, I I did say I remember what year or more ago I said I wanted to. I was I'll buy all. I was drunk. Eh? I'll buy all fucking. Sh Palette of it, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I was supposed to come down, stop at these, grab a bottle, and bring it to you. You signed a yeah. contract, Dave. 
<laughs> if it makes you feel any better, I came down, I got the vodka from B, and then said, fuck David, I'm bringing this bottle home. I'm drinking it. Home. I'm just going to drink Look, it. I told you, this stuff is so goddamn good, you won't want to drink any other vodkas. It fucking ruined vodka for me. Well, then, all the more reason that now I must have a bottle. Well, if you don't drink vodka, it's not ruining anything for you. You're just really going to enjoy it. Mm. But I fucked I appreciate up because I like vodka. vodka. I appreciate good vodka over bad vodka. Like I like I mentioned before, I can't do the mass produced stuff. Just like I can't drink mass produced beer. Like I oh, just it, it just turns it. right off. It just tastes like aluminum, a metal or something. It's weird. And it, well, hey, enjoy whatever you like. But well, you know what What's I like. That? It's that ultra premium, Dave. It's uh, it's good stuff. I'm yeah, like, I can't wait to try it, man. I'll, I'll well, you gotta hook me up. I have no way to contact you, man. So, like, uh, oh, like, hook, hook me up. Yeah, Whoa. hook me up sometime when you get back. And when are you, uh, you uh, your juniper berries and fuck you, your you're gonna be making your way down to Ottawa accent. anytime soon. Dinner's disgusting. I know. You're gonna make your way down like to you. Ottawa anytime soon. Well, the boys are all telling me, yeah, I gotta go to practice soon again, and uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you usually go to practice, then yeah, I'll just. We'll yeah. meet up there. I'll bring exactly. you a bag of treats and uh I'll yeah. Bring you a treat. Okay. Sounds fair. Sweet. I don't know who RHCP is or what the fuck it stands for. Red hot chili peppers. I think it's red hot chili peppers or something. How's the weed? So the weed is okay. It's okay. Allegedly. 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 Yeah. But is uh yeah, is I never thought oh well, I was gonna ask you earlier, uh what are the cannabis laws like in Ireland? Strict. Highly illegal. Strict. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a no go. Up. So that's why the answer is allegedly. Mm. We would never willingly partake in breaking a law. Right. Because we're upstanding citizens. Naturally. Mm. Yeah. Like yeah. I remember who was it? Uh actually it was Roy Baker. Shout out to yeah, anyway. It was Roy Baker. Baker. Where it, is that ticket? Two, he he, he, he was telling, in the smoking yeah. area there. He was telling me like or he was, you know, just telling me that like, he just can't believe how people just walk around and smoke joints in Canada. Rick Chains. Yeah, he's got I it. said, well, we are in a smoking area. But Rick Chains. Remember Boy Baker saying that, like, he, he, uh, he told me that he was, sh like, just shocked at how common it is in Canada. Well, fun like, thing. Now that Corona's coming back because it's election year again, and everybody's going to need new vaccinations, um, the Brothers Grimm, you can actually just inject right into your veins, and they count it. Okay. Because yeah. nothing can live in your system if you've got enough of that in there. <laughs> Sounds about right. I know how to hook an IV to myself for alcoholism purposes. Yeah, that's yeah, that's 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 big boy stuff. Oh, yeah. well, that's how the big boys do it. I actually had a roommate. It just takes too goddamn long if you have to fucking drink everything by yourself. Like I drink beer because I enjoy it, but if I'm trying to get fucked up. Fucking plug it straight in. Whatever. Is is how many fucking shows has Roy, has Roy missed? Too many. He's gonna get fired. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Especially now that he started buying socks off other people. Like I don't know why I keep him around at all. I don't know. He's oh my he forgot his he forgot his position, you know what I mean? He got all the all the fame get to his head. Yeah, like he's, he's big time and now being a fucking maid on the show and Rich has got too big. Didn't stay in his lane. He didn't know his role. Like, what are you gonna do uh, now? Now that the disloyalty has good. gone down to the socks level. Big time. Big time. Uh oh, did they glitch out? I don't think so. No, no, you're good. Okay. Connection's been good. I guess you guys were a little choppy. Yeah, there we go. I guess it's normalizing again. Yeah, you wouldn't. Your, your video Maybe just. Maybe you're a little out. fucking choppy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, why are you gonna fucking well, be like that? Lucky, well, you're lucky you're not home now because uh, here it's like minus one, and we're getting a stupid like snow showers tonight. So you're you'll you're in a much better place. Yeah, it's uh, it's a little bit warmer, but it never gets cold here. Like it's like we stay on the ground here. It's always like fucking plus five and raining all winter. Oh, but, oh, really? Okay, so they don't get a lot of snow there. They don't get any. Like, we, we saw snow when we were here in January, 
But like, as soon as it touches the ground, it's gone. Once, once it actually stayed on the ground for like an hour. Oh, I didn't know their climate was so temperate. I didn't know their climate was so nice there. It's almost like being in Vancouver, like where it's just always, it's shitty out. Yeah, misty, rainy, but it never really, you don't get minus 30 shit and whatever. No, and I've never seen it pour either. No, it's, well, it's is really it right on the coast here. Is it it's near so Dublin? Like, like or, well, is it near the coast? We're on the coast. We are right on the ocean. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, that's so nice, man. Yeah. Please, somebody take some quick vids of the beaches and shit for me. Oh, oh yeah, we got it. We got some good. We got some good photos. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah I, I, like just, you got I, that I, one fucking sick picture of that waterfall there. That yeah, I think cute. Ireland. Ireland is a place I'd like to go to. To visit. It absolutely is. Ireland is a place where I don't want to leave. Mm, if only I could find drinking partners here, I would just stay. You uh, stay? I bet it's not too hard to find a drinking partner in Ireland. You can stay. Yeah, yeah, but, I could find people that will drink with me, but like I would need four of them to work <laughs> in shifts. You can pick them up. Yeah. 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 And then the pharmacies would love that because they're going to sell all antibiotics they have. <laughs> I mean, between you and Marcus, they'll they'll be sold out all the time. Me. Mm-hmm. Okay, I do we do you know, or does anybody in the room there? there yeah. Does, does anybody in the is anybody from Ireland? Marcus keeps paying his sick instead of fucking admitting that he's hungover because he drinks like a bitch. I can I don't have nothing to say to that. Well, I was just saying, Marcus, you're a fucking cunty motherfucker. You should learn how to drink. Well, I mean, he is a cunty motherfucker. That should learn how to drink. Better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, when have you ever been afraid of telling the truth? Oh, oh, fuck. Does anybody know, or could somebody put in a chat, where is Giant's Causeway, and is it anywhere near there? It's, a special, no place. Marcus? it's a special place in Ireland where... Uh, I think it, the rocks are basalt, and they're all arranged in these like octagonal rocks, hexagonal. Con- yeah, yeah, this is rocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're all like it looks really freaky. It's, it's on the coast. Geological and or something. I'd imagine Marcus knows where that is. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to look up. Well, I shouldn't have brought it up. No. I, it is a place I'd well, want to probably. Like it's geological. Yeah, that's like Why is this guy such a dickhead? Well, David. Yeah, I'm a Yeah, I'm out. Good night, night B. Go fuck yourself, Burgos. Oh, later, later, brother. Who was that? I don't know, some red hot chili faggot. Oh, oh R H C P. What's his fucking problem? So what I'm gonna do is one of the guys. It's one like guys. It's like he fucking you know accidentally grabbed a fucking stick that was sharp for his arse tonight. That's something up there. Being a red hot chili pepper, it's fucking probably a bunch of dick. I got that arm shot going. Uh oh. And who the fuck is this? Canada doesn't need you or Uncle John. What is normalized? Well, that might be true. They don't need an awful lot of fucking people that they have. And I can think of a few people that are hated far more than either of us. I don't know. Oh, uh, Mark, I okay, John so was like a half Canadian before. Uh, Andrew, he's okay. American. Yeah, total cunt. He's American. Total cunt. Yeah. And he can't drink either. That's all I can do. But I, I can't. Don't I type would. things like that in the chat, dude. It's uh, you probably get me banned typing like that. <laughs> yeah, I certainly, I know I for a fact that I cannot drink I like I used to in my thirties and forties. Uh, sometimes I'm an idiot. See, I got a little touch of the tism, and I uh, get when I say things like that that I'm not supposed to say. Uh, you, you figure, you figure a touch of the tism shirt would maybe have hindered us at the Irish border. It actually got us through quicker. You know what I mean? <laughs> like we're we're at customs and the guy's giving us a bit of a bit of a drill, and then I'll say like, off. And he's like, What is that? What is your shit? And he pulls him and he goes, he laughs and goes, You guys, you guys get out of here. He said, You guys go on through. You know, people fucking just came up it's like I love your fucking shirt. Yeah, nonstop. I only got compliments. I didn't get one one insult. Oh, Karen didn't like it. Oh, was Sasha. Did, did Karen talk about your shirt? Oh yeah, she didn't like that either. Oh man. Oh, I met my very first fucking Karen ever. Karen. Her name was Karen. Oh, fucking Karen the cunt. 
<laughs> she was not a fan of either of us, that's for sure. Oh, that was me. That <laughs> yeah, maybe she was. Okay, give me the dirt. Oh. Give me the dirt. What happened? I think she was just upset knowing that she would never ever get a fucking piece of man like that. <laughs> Guaranteed. Yeah. Guaranteed. Oh, God. Oh, speaking of parent punks, look at this guy with his fucking rainbow yeah. background. Oh, boy. I know that background. Oh, there it is. Oh, <laughs> oh, I thought I recognized it. <laughs> and you're in trouble for taking this picture because he's got it as his background with the fucking rainbow oh flag behind him. <laughs> Connor the prick. It's adorable. Is he on there? Yeah, he's on the show. And Connor, he thinks he understands what fucking steaming means. Dude, until you saw us. Walk at home Sunday after St. Patty's Day. Maybe muscle. You have no idea what fucking steaming is. Yeah. <laughs> be fucking steaming. I, I, I don't even want to know. I'm, I'm canceling. I'm not coming. Fuck it. I'm done. <laughs> you scared. <laughs> I don't have the heart no more. I don't got the heart for this. <laughs> it really is sad. Uh, so, Connor, are you going to get drunker if you win or if Matt wins? Okay. Um. Well, That's a good I'm question. getting, I'm getting equally drunk. But I mean, the the possibility of me losing is pretty fucking low. So. That's not. I didn't ask that. I asked, would you get drunker if you won or if Matt won? Okay, well, that's good. Do I get five in a row? Um, but I, can't I think if, if Matt if Matt won, I would I would have to get so drunk that I would I would pick a fight with a bush. Mm. Oh, just like, wolf, just like uh, White Wolf did, uh, yeah. Was, uh, in my defense, it was more than one. <laughs> it was a gang. It was a gang. It was a gang of thorny bushes. Yeah. yeah. They met out of nowhere. You're definitely they assaulted. Me. They, they met out of nowhere. He actually, he actually ate so much shit in the thorn bush. <laughs> he was, he was complete. Like it was a hill. He was deep, nothing but feet. Like, I'm telling you. I think there's dog shit. In it. <laughs> I can't wait for that. Yeah. Pile of dog shit. Oh man, I wanted to help him, but I was busy. I got jumped by the pavement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I was just walking down the middle of the fucking road, minding my own business, backwards, half sideways, three stepping twice. And just out of nowhere, yeah, I got fucking punched right, right in the side of the fucking face by the road. Yeah. That happens all the time. <laughs> right every time I'm with you, that happens. Face, man. Hmm. happens like, every time I see it. So Dude, like he literally basically just rolled home. No like he was just basically. <laughs> I, was <laughs> crawling. I was looking for looking the leprechaun. Look, you were yeah. looking high, I was looking low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were we one at a time, time, the leprechauns. We couldn't crazy. find any leprechauns in the bottles of whiskey, and we checked all of them. <laughs> right? Didn't that was a cutoff. So how else were we going to find them? Maybe they're, they're in the scotch. Maybe they're in the scotch. So I crawled. Maybe they're in the scotch bottles. We didn't check. Why the fuck would a leprechaun be in a scotch bottle, you <laughs> dumb fuck? You know what's, you know what's fucking oh. crazy? Is that like yes. we slept for like 10, 11 hours. And woke up still hammered. But we didn't get back here until like six thirty-seven. I think we're here. I think we're here about four. We got. Oh, yeah. No, we're here about five. Five? Yeah, we're here about five. Yeah, because me and because I have a I have a I have a video, and I think that video was like just before five, and we just had yeah. yeah. Okay, so here's the thing: I have no fucking memory. No. Yeah, um, I remember tipping the jack up. <laughs> The third time in the bottle being empty and realizing that what we just did and how fucking dumb it was. No, it was bad. And then that's it. I don't remember leaving Marcus's house. No, it was fun. At all. We left. <laughs> <laughs> we woke up here. How did we get here? <laughs> how did we get here? I don't know. There was some fucking thorns and some pavement issues and like. As bad as I was, I don't think it was. Fucking pants issues. issues. I had my pants on. Everybody, that's what yes, you, you still had your pants, pants on, but you also had my pants. So that's... Me, raise your hand. You had your pants on, right? Okay. Uh, if you haven't had your pants on. Okay, but why did you have my pants? I, I don't remember. <laughs> why did you have my pants? take my pants. I was too drunk and sore. Why the fuck would I leave my pants outside? You're not even making sense. Look, and, and if I don't think it happened. My phone was broken. I don't remember. If you don't think this is a true story. What? I didn't say I don't think it's a true story. I said I don't remember it. It didn't happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Spelled it 
I need the antibiotics. Your pants fell down. You stepped out of your pants and stepped out of your shoes and left them there. Very efficient. You don't see that kind of like, yeah, you were just ready for that. No, you just walked them. in, boots out, walked out of his boots. Walked Dude, out when of you've his got pants. enough whiskey into you, you know how to drop hey, down. The room over here in a hurry. What the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, I gotta see you. <laughs> Oh, Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm not hey, wearing here. No, oh, Hunter, that's right. Right. your shoes. Just in case anyone was questioning that. Thank God, Daddy Hunter. Hunter. <laughs> Did they see it? <laughs> I think so. Thanks. Where did this come from? Who took this? I did. Was, was, was that like pint number like three or what? I did. I did. It's like, what yeah, was he like doing a funky comfy, chicken yeah. or something? Yeah, I, I, there's a yeah no, no, I'm definitely like rolling around on the floor with no fucking pants on. <laughs> so is this the video you're talking about where it was time stamped? This is this is when you crawled <laughs> in the house. You crawled in the house, you kind of rolled into the living and I like their version better where I just walked out of my pants, not this. <laughs> you got a very cool version of you coming out of the house. Yeah, you guys made me look way cooler than B just fucked on me. Like <laughs> I, I see a blurred in the mouth oh, You just didn't it's just like a fat drunken <laughs> ball rolling around on the floor. With no fucking pants. I feel, I feel a lot of heat coming off of that. <laughs> hey, you pulled me out of those freaking bushes. I got your back. I don't feel like it. Dude. I did. Oh, you had my front. And this is why Caillou's not allowed to drink. <laughs> I just wanted to stop in and say, um, slant you before I have to take another shit. So, Papa bless, guys. See you later. I'll see you on Friday night. We'll see you. Can I if we're still alive. Hunter McLeod. Last until I get there, for fuck's sake. I'm going to go take a shit now. Enjoy hey. that. Oh, fuck. Hey. I don't need to know that. Hey. This is seventh of the day. Seventh? Uh -oh. Yeah. How's your, weight? How, how's your weight, Connor? 76 kilos, so I'm, I'm pretty much there. Yeah. Yeah. What do you got to get down to? 75. Okay. Oh, well, so you're already there. Why are you so light so early? So I can drink you're for two fucking days. Why are you still? Why are you that late? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I, so I can drink before the winds. What you gotta do, man? Constantly, right? Somebody's fine. So, <laughs> see you Friday, boys. All right, lads. Cheers. See you soon. Bye, Connor. Fuck that kid. Fuck that guy, huh? <laughs> Who let him well, in there? I can't stand that guy. What? <laughs> listen, I was I was listen, looking listen. for something else on my phone, and I was eating some popcorn earlier. Right. And it slipped, and I went to go patch it. You know what I mean? Greasy fingers. And it was kind of... Yeah, I know. Everything about what you're saying right now sounds oh, real fucking greasy. <laughs> That's that. I would never do something like that to you. I'm not trying to keep. Trying. I I doubt that. I can anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, I would definitely. I would definitely do something like that too. Okay, yeah, fair okay. play, fair okay. play. Thank yeah. You. Thank okay, you. so here's the thing. I'm not allowed to smoke in here because that's fucking like, stupid. Now? David won't stop fucking smoking. I'm going right there to have a smoke. smoke. You're right between 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 I know you're on a fucking read, so David <laughs> Kenya, is it too cold to just have the door open? No, we're not allowed. The whole house gets full of smoke and, and Mark, people get mad. Mark will have a fucking problem. Mark's probably watching this right now. Yeah, Mark, Mark, the the homeowner is probably across right the road fucking yeah, stairs. Yeah, yeah. Like those pricks better not be smoking in the house. Have you seen those <laughs> cigars and joints? Oh, fuck. We were smoking outside with the door open to crack so we could still talk to each other. He ran over and yelled that it stinks. I'm going to get a phone call here in a minute. <laughs> Guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Everyone's going for a smoke break, apparently. Yeah. We got the chat here, Cobra. Oh, what up, Cobra? Cobra's yeah. there. That's in the chat. Tell Cobra I couldn't get back to the connection. He's calling me on uh, the other night, two nights ago. We're going to hook up with all of us. Okay, well, if you didn't hear that, Cobra, apparently there was a connection issue. Yeah. All right. Uh, Wolf, Wolf is howling once again.
Holy spermy yes. ass, spermy white wolf. Well, he's here. He's there. Oh yeah, the wolf I'm, was, uh, I'm on the other Captain side. Obvious. Captain uh, wolf was, uh, this is not the beer fucking hand, all right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the wolf. It's our show there. now, Big B. Let's fuck. Yeah. Let's fuck around. Yeah. Cobra is doing. This is crazy. Yeah. Hey, what happened to uh, Devin's forearm and Benji Mac? You ever heard those names? I tripped over the cord. Oh, the Drew, okay, the Drew is there too. Yeah. Okay. Hey, what's up? Oh, there's Cobra. Uh, he's trying to get in. Marcus there's Thompson he's sent my you. my buddy. Did he you see that? me up out of the thorns, man. Did you see that? We did like a game of thorns. Did you see that? Fucking whoa. Hey, Cobra. Wolf. Here we go. Slant. The, the white wolf. My baby. Oh, yeah. You did see that a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. What up, so, David? What's happening? We, we, missed you on, Cobra? we missed you on Sunday. Oh, yeah. David, hey, uh, Cobra, Cobra. If, if you were here on Sunday, wolf himself. it wouldn't have been only fucking uh, Mr. Jake Ward that would have had fucking weekend at Bernie's. Uh, you know what I mean? We would have had, we would have had footage for fucking years. Uh -oh. Big B, are you at the house? No, Friday. We go to the house. Yeah, we Where gotta kick the guys out, right? Huh? Well, what? Do you need me to pull up or what? Obviously. Wolf, you got that shit? I got it. We're gonna we're gonna have them out of the house on Friday. Yeah. We'll you got the real battles ready? Did you see the video of uh, uh, him and uh, Evan around? You got, video you got the wheel battles there. ready? Oh, the wheelbarrows are ready. They're yeah. they're they're, they're freaking, they're all greased up. We've got the logos. They're, they're nice and smooth. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Fellas, one love, man. I love I'm not even shit. kidding you. <laughs> like, the wheelbarrow is like the official arm god's taxi. Yeah. That's how we do it. Yeah. Oh, uh, we're getting fucked up, but, you know. I mean, allegedly, we're having a few uh, libations. Allegedly. Hey, listen. Allegedly. Did they learn how to twist a joint properly over there yet since we left? Did you leave them the blueprint, Big B? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Got yeah. rid of some of that tobacco. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. This um, the this trip was a lot more fruitful. You know what I mean? A lot less. Uh, Not in the way you might think. The flowers are lovely in spring. They are. They are. Yeah. <laughs> I it's feel too bad, it's too bad the wild mushrooms burn in season though. That's that's what I'd be. You know, bro. My dude pulled up today at the dealership. Fifty uh -huh. pounds of morels. This. Morels? <laughs> yeah, in the hood where the dealership was. Bro, listen, he was in the wrong hood for that, but they didn't know what they were worth. Oh, my God. 50 pounds of morels. I got three pounds, man. Were they fresh or dry? Not picked this morning. Oh, my. That is worth a mint. Man. Yeah, yeah. Still, still in the onion bags. And oh my God, yeah! Please just yeah, just take a dozen of them or more and just fry them up with some butter, man. I know, like, I know what I'm. Oh, quiet, quiet time. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Cobra's got this. Cobra it's needs awesome. his own kitchen channel. That's oh, actually. Man. Fuck. I mean, last time you we were here, that's one thing that we didn't get to experience was a uh, um, home cooked Cobra meat. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, we need a snake bite next. Back. That's sort of that's that's a that's a rare treat, right? One. Yeah, well, I'll they're once. A, once a year, those morels, once a year in the spring. So, yeah, yeah, some of those rare mushroom hunters, man, it's like they're very extremely seasonal, like one time and they only grow in like, you know, that one place where you, you know where to look. Some mushrooms are tied directly to some species of trees. So you can just look for the trees and, and hopefully find uh, the, the fruiting fungus the the proper down log at the right time yeah the proper down log like whatever if you want if you like uh what i collect or around meadow, here or sometimes a meadow around mike here Bowling, I, I collect mike bowling, mike bowling right at less than an hour from me used to have a spot that yielded like 200 pounds a season of morels of morel on his property he cut them that, and go back the next day and cut the little ones wait that's 3 a days gold line. That's a oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Mike Bowling. Yeah. Wow. 
Yeah, that's a gold mine. But around here, what I go and look for, I go out uh, mostly in the winter or when the leaves are gone. I go out and I I, uh, I hunt for chaga, which oh, I find right. on old I find on old birch trees. Yeah. I collect the chaga, yeah. and which is very very powerful medicine. Yeah, chaga, lion's mane. It's all. That's oh all yeah, I gotta fucking... find I gotta find lion's mane. I gotta learn how to yeah. find that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Relshi, Relshi extract, yeah, cordyceps, or something like that. Yeah, Relshi is it Relshi? Relshi? I forget what it is. Yeah, there's some really good ones that they just they're good for your body. If you but you got to pick the right ones. Uh, fungus is you know of course very dangerous. If you pick the wrong one, you could literally just die in a day or something. Like at that. ease for, for at ease disease. Fungus is among us. Fungus is among us. Okay. David, I, I expect that at some point you're going to be tuning in here and you're going to have a whole full Gurkha hut behind you. <laughs> I can only imagine, you know, it's got to happen, right? Hmm? A Gurkha hut? Gurkha hut. Yeah. Yo, I, oh, uh, um, wait a minute. Uh, well, I, I have I have a plaque that I got from you know meeting some Gurkhas, but my only takeaway from the Gurkhas is learning how to use one of these. Yeah, yeah, that's a you know see see how I set them up like that. Yeah, I absolutely knew we had one of that. Oh yeah, real yeah. nice oh, setup. Hey, throw me a bone, right? Oh geez, I guess I'm getting... no, no, you're you're um, I can take this. Oh, go take a yeah. Is that a cold steel? Oxy. Yeah, yeah that's cold. a cold steel one. Yeah. yeah. I've got the same blade. Oh, love nice. That. Yeah, I love it. Are you didn't take it with you? What's that? Can't travel with a What's wrong with, with the, uh, these guys? They have no sense of humor. Uh, I, I took <laughs> this uh, <laughs> when I did a survival trip in the boreal forest. In and the dead of the winter. Blast, you can do it. I took this instead of an axe. I took this white wolf. This uh, cobra. What's up, buddy? We're going to curling for oh, arms uh, Friday night, huh? We're going for that nice steak sandwich you and I enjoyed last time, right? Oh, bro, wasn't that tasty, eh? With my oh, little my flower, God. right? He knows, yeah. huh? Cobra knows. He's the guy. He shared a steak sandwich with me. He's a brother, man. Like He's my brother. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I just realized I gave Cobra the finger. You know, I, I oh my God. You know, Fox, Fox is there. apologizing. Oh, I think Cobra went down. No, he's back up again. I was giving, I wasn't giving you the finger, Cobra. I was giving the chat the finger. <laughs> you got Foxy over here trying to communicate with you. But look, what you know, what, one thing, what is, uh, you know, Cobra, there's something that we found out here, right? <laughs> so, only half of what uh, Foxy uh, says is uh, we that can we understand. Is that right? Maybe half, right? So what we decided was uh, if we get yeah. him to try to emulate like a Texas accent, and he's trying to do a Texas accent, mind you, and it's not even close to Texas. But <laughs> he's a real, he's a real to, Matthew McConaughey. Huh? Well, well, you'll understand every. Say something in your regular dialect. Like what were you want to say? Like right now, what you would want me to say? I don't know. Like, uh, just... no, well, yeah. <laughs> Come on, I'm gonna get like I'm gonna give way to Foxy here. Oh, come on in here, Fox. In here. Okay, now explain the weather over here, will you? What weather? The weather we have. This is not weather. This is yeah, like. But, but you have to say it in the uh, the Texas accent. Y'all yeah, got that shitty weather. That's no that's no skin that's like skinny dipping weather. Yeah, it is. That's close Fox, ladies and gentlemen. What up, big brother? How you doing, Cobra? Hey, slow motion. You know the skinny pimp is alive. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Good to oh, see you, boys. The fox in the hen hey. hey Fox, put your head in there, man. I won't see you, cousin. Yeah, man. Don't don't. Fox is putting oh, on no, some man. size. Man, He's don't don't close your hand on me. Food. Ouch. Ooh. Uh, oh man. Come on. Oh <laughs> hell no. Don't do it. Oh. Hey. Don't hurt him, Hammer. Novice in a pro tournament, right? <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Hey, Big B, man. You tell them guys look out. Look out for the pimp. Nah, you never know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, baby. <laughs> hey, I got that. I got that pretty girl in the other room. I'm gonna have to climb in there. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I love all you boys. I'll listen to the show while I'm smashing it. I was gonna give a hot box in there, Cobra. Was it Fox? Hi, Fox. I'm Dave. How you doing? Mama's got a squeeze box. Daddy never sleeps at night. Yeah, baby. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, oh, we've lost Cobra. Who's in the chat here? Like, let's have a look. Who's in the chat? Captain Obvious. What's happening? Prune Dick. What's going on? Look up, Polyachi. You are right. I'm going to take two gold medals. Creme fresh, my man. Look up all the Fox, what we got. Betsy, lad. Rick Chains, baby. Rick Chains. Rick Chains. Rick Chains, bitch. You missed Rick Chains in Ottawa. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rick was in Ottawa. And that's the one fair one. I believe he did. Which one's he? The guy who said, what's up, I'm Rick Chains. Yeah, and he had his Rick Chains bitch with him. Was I all fucked up? Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I need an indoor teepee. What? Lucha, Lucha Pe Pagliacci. Lucha. Pagliacci. Oh, Lucha Pagliacci. Over verse Fox. Lucha Pagliacci. Would anybody be surprised if Dave turned When the eagle. I don't want to eat people, oh. Lucha. I don't want to eat people, man. Oh. Not in my nature. <laughs> Not yet. Too early. <laughs> was that fucking close? It's too early, yeah. It was, well, yeah, just don't feed me, oh, don't feed me rye whiskey. Yeah. Don't feed me rye whiskey, oh, and I'm there will be I no Wendigo. So oh, I like Wendigo. I, I, like I, want, I want to catch one. I want to fight a Wendigo. Solid tried to exit me since I've been here. <laughs> Cafeteria fresh. <laughs> that I would have just sprayed <laughs> it. No. Oh, Evan, the oh, back match. Yes, he does. Oh, oh wow. Wow. I'm going to let the horse back on. Good to see you. Well, look, it's on me now. Well, uh, good to see you. I can't wait for that tack match, man. That tack match. I can't wait. To... I can't wait to see you. You cut off. I can't wait to see that table. You're not a minor. Oh. I can't remember. I think that's my first You do feel it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every single one. Right, well, you're actually fucked up. One each from each. Yeah. Like, be, be fun. See, he fucks things up just for me, so I feel like I'm at home again. That's and a little cringy, face. but... Uh... <laughs> It'll go away. That's too much love. <laughs> you don't get any more love. Yeah, yeah, the well. fuck is this? Make sure Evan doesn't bleed out during the tag match. Who the fuck wants that? <laughs> <laughs> if he dies, he dies. Hey Fox, what shirt are you wearing? Are you wearing an auto <laughs> Nice, nice. Go oh, ahead. that's a yeah, bottle. Show the back. Show the back. You got the hoodie. Show the back. Lift the hell. Yeah, you see what that says? That's oh. my bitch. Oh. Well, oh, he's wearing that's Mrs. Bad Company. Right oh, okay. For <laughs> tonight or like, the uh, new he Sorry. keeps me warm at night. Well, you know, man's got to do what a man's got to do, right? I know. He had a fucking beard when he showed up. I was like, you're going to have to fucking shave. <laughs> you know, pretty for me. Like, this isn't going to do. Gonna this isn't going to do. You're going to have to shave. I can't confirm that he does not like grizzly on his pee pee. No, no. <laughs> well, I just don't want my ball yeah, hair getting tied to your chin hair. Because He prefers oh, double. Oh, never mind. Yeah, well, I mean, look, when we go to pull apart, like, it's probably going to lose for me. It's, it's just bad. Oh, I can't wait to see. Oh, I can't wait to see that. I can't wait to watch your match, man. I can hardly wait to see. Everybody's excited to see it. That's going to be. I promise you, it's going to be a fucking madhouse. It's going to be the craziest fucking thing the arm wrestling world has ever seen. Like, that's right. That's you know how much I like crazy. to fight when I'm at the table. Like, I you like to care. fight anyway. I don't care if I'm losing. I'm still fighting as hard as I fucking can all the way through. <laughs> I don't back down. I don't stop. 
You know, occasionally I will let a round go if I think it's better off, right? Like save your position, fight from the next round. It's, yeah, it's don't, a better like, idea. Don't just burn, don't milk but yourself. Don't burn yourself. I'm just getting beaten. Position, right? I will just fight the motherfucker as hard as I can and hope that he ends up more exhausted than me and he isn't willing to fight as long as I am. I, I will just keep fighting forever if I can. Mm. And uh, I just thought about but something. Imagine yeah. whenever there's like a lot of actual pain involved with the losing. Now, how hard are you going to fight? I don't think I could fight any harder than I normally would, anyways. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure, you know, maybe getting cut. It, who knows? It could spike a little adrenaline. Who knows? But uh, it, I don't think it matters. Well, we'll see what happens. But what I like about you is that you don't choose. You don't choose easy matches. You never choose easy matches. If I'm always, choosing it, it's definitely like about, not going to be an easy match. You always challenge yourself. And nobody challenges me Where'd you go? thinking that they're going to lose, okay. right? It's it's people, they're looking to take a win off of uh, me being a giant asshole. Like, they think they're already ahead. They think it's an easier match. Mm. And Wait, that for? I'm always coming from the underdog spot lately. And that's fine with me. I have no problem being the underdog. I don't want easy matches. <laughs> Exactly. Where's the fun in that? Yeah, like an easy setup rigged match. Like, oh yeah, I'll squash that guy. Yeah, let make it happen, man. Make it happen. Like, yeah, I just yeah, it's like, well, just give me the money then. Fuck. You know, like yeah. like you're, you you're you're in it for the for the reality of it. it, it to have I a like the fight. I have like a, the competition. To have a it's to not have a exciting to fight your fucking brother's two year old kid. Right? Like it, it's right. just it's too easy. I don't want to do that. Especially when she's like, give me that fucking tough one. Like, and, and that's and that's what I have learned to understand about you. Man, there's and that's so many you people that are so concerned with needing to win all the time. And mm. I don't get it. Now, on one side of things, you're only as good as your last match. People are like, oh, you fucking always lose now. Well, yeah, I've fucking lost about half of my fucking matches in the last three years, right? And people don't remember any of the wins because they don't care. But the losses stand out a lot more. And they're like, oh, Evan's fucking shit now. Okay, well, maybe Evan just likes to fucking take the tough matches and likes to fight. Oh, my God. You know, if you're fucking taking easy matches, how are you challenging yourself? You know. What, what good is it? You know, I want to pull every kind of, you're going to beat me. I don't like Paul Maiden. The guy's a cunt. I kept the fuck you tattoo because, like, I what? the guy is actually a fucking cunt. Like, I don't like the guy. It's crazy, but he is a good arm wrestler. Fair enough. Okay. Fair point. You know, Jim Beach. I like that guy. That's a really good dude. I fucking Jim, love him. yeah, yeah. I have he, he's you, awesome. Yeah. But he's a good arm wrestler and he's fucking strong. Right, like these are not easy matches. Fucking Austin Jaggers. I'll never forget. You know, he the likes to raw dog you, but I mean that's a fucking that's a bad dude, right? I'll like, never like yeah, seventh I'll never in North America. In face, I, I I mean this with all due respect, actually. Like I've never seen his. I've never seen it. Like the look on your face when your wrist suddenly like went. It was like whatever. Like okay. the look on your your so, expression was priceless. So it's that like, one, like you're talking yeah. about round one against fucking uh, against Jimmy? Uh yeah, or was it round two or three? No, it was round one. So okay. we sunk into this hook and we were right in deep. Yeah. And then all of a sudden when he starts fucking rolling out my hand, he transitioned. So what happened was and, and where did that come from? All arm wrestlers know what's up. Like once you hit that open level, like you just know, like, if you're in a match with somebody and you feel them starting to roll out your hand and they're not, like, trying to protect the top of your hand, both of you guys know, okay, we're about to slip, right? So you just let your hand go, and out we go. We're going to straps. When he started rolling, I'm like, okay, we're about to slip. Go to straps. Okay, so I go to let go, and he catches it and folds my hand right back and pins me. I'm like, I can't believe I just fucking got caught on that. That's what it was. Yeah, not, yeah, that's what it was like a look of disbelief on your face. Uh, like, oh my god. Right I there. just got made look 
so fucking stupid. I can't believe I fucking fell for that bullshit. Mm. But good play on him. I've done it to people before. Um, <laughs> okay. You know, like I just to me it seemed like both of us were just acknowledging that this is now a slip, we're going to straps. And mm. oh man, he made me look so fucking stupid when that happened. I was I was just so fucking embarrassed walking away from the table, like, oh, for fuck's sakes. I can't believe I just let that happen. That was fucking terrible. Uh, Jim Beach, though, that night, like he he's just a real nice guy. Like it was I, yeah. it was nice to meet him. Easily one meet. of the nicest fucking dudes I've ever met in arm wrestling. Oh, okay. He's such yeah. a nice guy. Yeah. Great dude. I, I, I don't nice know how he's fucking here. friends with Paul. Right he came over and took a selfie with me and him with our sparkle puffs. And uh yeah, I got that picture saved. Like, like that, what a nice memory. That it's was a little a weird that he likes wearing those little fucking like um shorts that like you would expect a high school gym teacher to wear that's being really inappropriate with the students all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. But outside of that, but he's got weird what can you say bad about the guy? Like he just shouldn't wear those fucking shorts. It's I, weird. I'm not sure about his wallpaper selection either, if you ever noticed that. <laughs> it's kind of like his grandma's house. Well, not well, everybody's Jim, as rich as nice, you. You're the nicest guy out there, buddy. But not everybody has money like you and can afford to just change their wallpaper every 60 years, I Wolf. Just change my wallpapers. <laughs> Well, the 60 years have been needed or not. Wolf wants yeah, the wallpaper definitely looks like my grandmother's from the fucking 70s, though. Wolf wants yeah. to move his house 60 meters up the road just to get away from the neighbors, brick by brick. Is that a true story? I don't know what he said. What he said in, in, in Texan. Y'all moved your house. Wolf once moved his house 60 meters down the road, brick by brick, <laughs> just so he could get away from the neighbor because he didn't like him. Not you in Texas, him in Texas. Oh, you want him to? I don't want to listen to him talk anymore. Though. Did you actually move your house brick by brick? Yeah, no. apparently I did it when I was not conscious. So you know why he did it one brick at a time? Because he was yeah. on a fucking Indian, not a Harley. Yeah. That Couldn't handle be. anymore. That'll do it every time. Couldn't handle anymore more than one oh. at a time. Ah, so, yes, I like the hard matches. I like to fight. Anybody that's just looking for easy matches... You know, it is weird as a coach for my team, when my teammates and guys that I coach and stuff, they're like, well, what do you think about taking a match with this guy? And I'm like, mm, oops, no, bad match. Don't, not that one. Well, what about this guy? Yeah, that's much better. Take that match. It's like, but this guy just beat him. You want me to take the winner, not the loser. Like, well, yeah, fucking matches are made stylistically. And I don't want my guys taking matches that they're going to lose. So it's, it's kind of a fucking ironic or something. Because I will take the matches that are tough as fuck that I probably can't win or shouldn't win. But I tell my guys, like, no, 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 don't take that match. Fucking let's get you this guy that's a win. Like, you want to win your matches, right? Like, I want my guys taking easier matches because it... I want them to win, right? But I don't give a fuck about my win loss record. I want the toughest, funnest matches I can get. Yeah. So, yeah. So, what's what's that called? Um, when you're like cherry picking? Well, you know, I just uh, do as I say, not as I do, type yeah, deal, right? Yeah. Like fucking, I'm a walking contradiction here. Well, I I just hope that John doesn't be a dick and play pokey chess with you the night before. Because that would ruin the event, man. I don't think it would. It just means that John's showing up with a fucking busted up face for the next day. Yeah. John like, is not, the does favorite. He not realize, does he not realize that you do? like? Make no I mean? mistake. John is the favorite for the arm wrestling match. Now, I'm coming in hot. I'm, I'm looking to fight. I'm looking to win. I am not coming here to lose. But you would have to set the betting odds as him being the favorite. Right? You have to. I would. I think it's sucking silly any other way. <laughs> but make no mistake about this. He is not the favorite if he wants to start trying to get physical with me the night before. Right? Like, like what would that prove? What would that prove? Like it'll prove that he gets slapped around real easily and quickly by the beer man. Yeah. That's like, what it'll prove. 
Because he's he'd be walking if he picks a physical altercation with you, he'd be walking into your territory. Right. So here's <laughs> the thing. Um, <laughs> now it, it, I don't know I, what it is with John. Well enough, least, and even though, anyway. When he said that I fucking was messaging his family and I was crossing the line and it was inappropriate of me, I'm like, whatever. John started fucking getting out of hand. And I texted his wife, told told her, you need to tell him to settle the fuck down. If he actually fucking comes at me with this, like, you're going to get your husband back with a few less teeth. Like, yeah. settle the fuck down. So Very that's possibly, what was inappropriate yeah. of me was I texted his wife. <coughs> whatever. Oh. Um, I may or may not have sent her a fucking few pictures of my willy as well. But you did not. I'm pretty sure it was what I said that I'm at. Um, yeah. Look, the pictures were laughable. <laughs> I had a Scooby Doo doll wrapped around it. It was cute as fuck. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think the thing with John is he needs to be fired up and angry. To do this fucking tack match. Like, we're going to hurt each other. We're going to cause blood. And, like, man, I don't care if it's my brother or my best friend. Like, I think it's funny. I'll fucking bury their arm in some tax, whatever. Let's fucking do yeah, it. It's you funny. tell somebody, look, I grew up doing stupid shit like this. Yeah. Like, I mean, fucking, this isn't the first <laughs> tack match I've fucking done. It's just going to be the first one I've done in front of people. Right. We do this shit Saturday night at practice because we're fucking idiots. <laughs> right like i've seen some weird things like uh this arm uh, shock that's coming up next we have done arm wrestling with tasers i sent you the video fraser getting tasered oh my god have you talked yeah, about no, it? i don't know if i saw that i don't know if i saw that yeah i do remember seeing weird stuff on your channel like no i sent you the video like on razor, facebook of fraser reagan, getting tasered reagan, while arm wrestling reagan uh reagan razor they're like taking a freaking shooter Taking a shot of whiskey out of some big guy's belly button. That was that dude out. is an eye light arm wrestler. Oh, so DJ. just like we don't, uh, we don't, get, he smells like a bag of onions, but he's, uh, he's special. He's special. He's special. Look, I got a touch. He got a lot of touches. Yeah. Um, anyways, all this dumb shit, energy. we have a lot of fun with. Like, this is the shit that we do. Oh. This yeah, is right yeah. up our alley. Yeah, and all the all in the backyard, I was so impressed with all the the shotgunning challenges. Oh, yeah. like, I'm like, how the how the well, that's what I'm saying. Like, this isn't a fucking act. This isn't a character. This is who we fucking are. Yeah. So if John wants, if he needs to be angry with me and create some type of fucking malice, if that's what he needs to do to get ready to go, by all means, do it. I'm not going to tell him how he's got to do it to compete. How he got to get ready. Yeah. Yeah. You need to hate me. Fucking hate me. But don't think that I'm going to let you get away with reaching out and touching me. And that's okay. Because it's not. Like, I'm, I'm still a goddamn man. If you got to hate me, you go ahead and hate me. But you do it with your fucking hands to yourself over there. Yeah. You want to reach up and touch me, it's going to get out of hand real quick. That's, I mean, what would you do? Uh, avoid okay, never mind. Don't answer that. We're all <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Avoid the thorns. Like, uh... I think that's very fair of me. To offer that to him, like I, I asked him very specifically and clearly, let's keep it about the table on Saturday night. We will get our chance to make each other bleed. Do not cross that line with me on Friday. Because we don't know where it's going to already... go. Right? Now, he took that as like a double doggy dare you. You tell yeah. me I'm not allowed to do something? Fuck you. I'm going to do it now. So now so he's we'll good. So, how so how are you going to deal with that if you know that he's going to play pokey chest? I promise you, I will have a tall boy of Molson Canadian in my hand at the <laughs> ready. And if he wants to be the second man to get the beer man beer can, he can get it. <laughs> I like that. Look, Somebody going to get a hurt real bad. I am going to have it on the ready. And we can do whatever he wants to do from there. If he touches me, he's going to get the can. And he can react <laughs> however he wants from there. I'll have a second can ready if he wants to push it any further. It'll be a sick fuck. Use the bottom of the can. It'll do more damage. Yeah. Anyway. Dude, if I was trying to hurt him. Like I know. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. If I was trying to hurt him, I would use the top lip of the can. Like when I hit Paul. Oh. 
Yeah, like, look, I know how to use it as a weapon. I could have cut him open. I could have fucked him up. Maybe, maybe John should get the corner of the can. Maybe John should get the corner of the can if he wants to really step it up. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you can bust somebody open real quick, real easy with that. Yeah, the lid of the, lid of the can is sharp. When I hit Paul with the can, I was not trying to hurt Paul. We don't want to talk. He about touched you. me when I told him not to, and when he needed to get smacked a little bit. Right, I had a beer in my hand, and I wasn't gonna like look for somebody to hold my beer so I can give him a smack. Like this happens right now, so I had to just give him a little smack. I made sure not to tilt the can to try to fucking fuck him up. I legitimately <laughs> thought when I smacked him in the head with the can, he was gonna run away. I did not think it was gonna get out of hand. I thought he was just gonna like run away and cry. Mm. Yeah. And piss his pants. Well, knowing what I know about Paul, I'm actually still surprised he didn't. Hmm. He is definitely a giant bitch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. So maybe he just has no respect for me at all, thinking that he thought it was a good idea to come towards me. He's gonna man. he's gonna be there, right? Not you, bro. Well, yeah, it's Paul's event. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's Not probably is he in the chat right now? Ah oh, fuck, who cares? Look, I, I we buried it. Paul beat me in the match the next day oh, yeah. and it all dropped. He apologized for saying the things that he said and he shouldn't have touched me. Whatever. It's over. That doesn't mean I like him. I still think he's a giant fucking douchebag. Yeah, he's <laughs> a king of the douchebags. But I don't need to fight somebody just because I think they're a douchebag. Right? Yeah. You're allowed to be a douchebag. You have the right to do and say what the fuck you want. Just don't fucking touch me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I appreciate that people are allowed to fucking say whatever they want to whoever they want whenever they want. I mean, fuck, that's what I do. Just don't fucking touch me. You can't get mad at people with that. Yeah, just don't fucking touch me. Boundary. I don't mind that boundary. He already has a touch of autism. He doesn't need you touching him too. No. Yeah. You really have a shirt like that? That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, he said that's how you get through customs in Ireland quickly is if you have a touch of the tism. The fucking guy at customs, like, through. what's your shirt say? I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know how to read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they read my shirt to him. It's like, ah, it says you got a touch of the tism. <laughs> and the guy just kind of laughed. He's like, go ahead. <laughs> Scamper on out of here. You can yeah. go. You can go. You're yeah. good. Oh, yeah. look at the cute little retard. Yeah. You can go have fun. <laughs> <laughs> It's not wrong. Did you know that I didn't even know that I actually had a touch of the tism for real until like recently? Well, it's funny how we don't know things. Well, well, it's funny how. Well, my fucking mother knew for a long fucking time. She just didn't want me to fucking feel like I was different. I understand that psychology. But she always told me I was like... special. <laughs> was she did. Special I was her guy. special like, little guy. Like fucking yeah. Jerry kid special. Yeah. Wait, what? Fuck you. Oh, no, I didn't mean to. Oh, I, David, I, fuck I'm you. Sorry. David, I want you to listen to me very carefully. I need you to I take apologize. two steps back right now and, and fuck your own face. <laughs> I'm, I apologize wholeheartedly for the harsh comment that I just said, which was totally yeah, inappropriate. It was like the only time I've ever and fucking cheers. actually looked down at Dave. And cheers, man. Why would, I, why would he back down like that? I don't know. I apologize. Yes, I, yes, you know I, what I know about Dave, that. though. You know what I know about Dave? Because I do feel a bad. bad motherfucker. And I, I know he's a good person and he, he takes everything to heart. And I can actually bring him to tears right now. I'm positive of it. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Give it your I'm best shot that. there, uh, brother. That's a savage motherfucker. Like, I know where he's been, what he's done. He's a savage. Yeah. You know what the definition of a savage is? That's a man that is willing to do the things that other men are not willing to do, right? That's a fucking savage. Mm -hmm. That dude is a fucking savage. But for him to back down like a little bitch just because I pretended to get upset. Not so savage, Dave. Well, I do have respect. Savage, Dave. Don't he apologize. It's He's because apologizing for apologizing now. Did you just apologize for apologizing, motherfucker? Because of respect. Like, yeah, I don't want to make he's so softy. For a savage, he's a soft Dave, and I love you, brother. Stop fucking apologizing and tell me to get fucked, you prick. <laughs> Suck me off. <laughs> I did not tell you to say that. That was rude. That was fucking rude. See, you're gonna be a gay again. Blah, blah. You know, maybe you want to hit up my boy here. 
He's got a fucking uh, fondness. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. You're not going to like where this goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fire it up, buttercup. <laughs> Oh, fuck. I am definitely going to get beat up at least once in Ireland, aren't I? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Like Maybe once. I'll just beat up your mind right now. Fucking Wolf tried to beat me up the other night, the fucking dickhead. Yeah, I can do that sometimes. Hey, Grizabella. Hey, I'll tell you. Look, I love Wolfie. One of my favorite fucking people I've ever met in the arm wrestling world. Yeah, you're beating But up that motherfucker gets squirrely. Yeah. Does he? Yeah, well, ever since he moved to the States, he can't drink like Canadians anymore, but he tries. I'll bet you 20 bucks he didn't bring my wolf claw necklace. I was in the bushes. I wasn't on the ground. I was being supported. Yeah, you were held up by the thorns. I wasn't all the way to the ground. That's true. That's true. And that was only once. No, no. It was more than well, once in the thorn bush. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I almost used the fucking picture for the thumbnail of instead of me laying up against a wall with B trying to help me. I almost used a picture of the two of us trying to get up off the ground. We we needed we needed clickers just to figure yeah, out yeah, how many yeah, times yeah. everyone was down. Right? Oh Jesus, your thumbs would have been fucking so oh, tired. Thumb, your thumbs would be as tired as your fucking feet were. Yeah, that's training though. <laughs> he had as many rolls as he did footsteps on the way home. Me? Yeah. You call me fat? No, it's called me oh. drunk. Oh, rolls, and I was rolling on the ground. Oh, there it is. What's going on, boys? There it is. No, no, no. no okay. What's going on, motherfuckers? <laughs> Pork chop, why going, are man? you awake? What do you That's mean? It's only fucking you like 9 30 or almost 10. Yeah, 10 o'clock. It's fucking bedtime. You got to work in the morning, get ready for arm gods. Oh, when are you flying in, motherfucker? Well, it's the time to sleep. When are you flying in? Sleep. Uh, we, I leave tomorrow at 3 with BLM. Thursday you... morning, we'll be there. Ever lucky you didn't come for St. Patty's Day. How was it? Horrible. Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, this motherfucker took some video that he decided to share tonight. <laughs> oh, fuck, that was, man. That was a complete accident. He slipped. He was eating popcorn earlier, and he had butter yeah. on his fingers. And uh, Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh-oh. So uh, is the war pig ready to go or what? Yeah, buddy, just fucking resting now, done training, ready to fly out and come kick some fucking ass, boys. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's been like blue balls here watching all you guys there fucking having a good time while I'm sitting here sober <laughs> as a fucking judge, oh, man. Like if you get blue balls, you're allowed to masturbate, but it's funny that you need to masturbate while watching us drink. <laughs> I mean, on a sense of being sober for like. Oh, oh, so you want to drink? Yeah, I mean, I want to definitely have a Guinness for sure, 100%. Oh, dude, you don't even want a Guinness in Ireland at the pubs here. Why? That's just, you just, you don't want to do it. They're too good. They're way too fucking good. good. Yeah. It's oh, probably fuck. Fuck. You'll never want fuck another steaks, man. Oh, I mean, can't wait. Cammy's Cammy enjoys a Guinness. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's never you had guys one. Know, yeah, you exactly. guys know if anybody drinks Guinness, it's me, man. Um, I don't see you drinking Guinness. I see us drinking Guinness. Slancha. Oh, yeah. R rub it in some more, you <laughs> motherfucker. Oh, my God. I'm itching bad. I'm like a crackhead. You know what's fucking funny about that? Listen to this. You hear this guy say, oh, you know, if anybody drinks Guinness, it's me. Motherfucker, you've never had a Guinness in your life. That's not in here. Ireland. That lot here. Dude, it's but... not the same fucking thing. <laughs> oh, like pure vitamins comparing the Guinness soul. here to the Guinness there. Um, how would I fucking do it? Um, it'd be like having a nice fucking glass of whiskey, or being forced to like lick razor's balls. Huh. It's like very different. Yeah, <laughs> I can't. And all wait. you've ever done is drink razor's fucking ball juice. Saying that you like Guinness, <laughs> probably no hangovers with it either. It's probably fucking um, clean. I don't know how to answer that. Well, yeah. I have never been hung over drinking in Ireland. No, because I wake up absolutely hammered and start again. Oh, I have been. <laughs> Look oh, at the cat. Man, you Look were gonna cat. die That's for awesome. a day last year. Yeah, I was in bad shape. Jesus. It took him like two and a half hours to get his first fucking pint down when we yeah, got yeah, to the event sure. last year. Some climatization oh. rules. But you yeah. were literally fucking carrying people home in a wheelbarrow that night. 
Wolf. Oh, 100%. Oh, I can't wait to get there. Oh, man, we could have fucking used a wheelbarrow this year. Jesus. We haven't even made it to the event yet. David, that cat is beautiful. Thank What's you. his name? Smokey? You can show me your pussy anytime. Cool. Is her, that Smokey? Name, her name is Grizabella. Grizabella. That's a fucking weird cat name. What I color Grizz. I mostly Grizz color Grizzy or Grizz. Not Borky. I like Grizzly. Borky's on. Yeah, you know, Parky's one of those guys that doesn't all, fucking listen to his coaches about what matches he should take. He's like, fuck it. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> all, fuck okay. it. Like, oh, that dude's fucking real strong, real good? Yeah, fuck. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, fuck. I left the toilet seat out. I left the toilet seat out. It could be a good fight, but like, we want you winning. And he's like, fuck it. Yeah. That dude's awesome. I want it. <laughs> you know, I love it. I love it. It's not all that bright, but I fucking love it. 100%. I can't wait. Are you going to win? Oh. Crazy. Hey, oh, you cut out. Too. Ah, yeah, that happens. Fucking look, we're in Ireland. The fucking pints are great, but the internet and the drugs are all shit. The Wi Fi shit. BLM, are you going to win? Gonna, BLM will be here at my house at 10 tomorrow. And yeah, he's going to fucking smoke Bogdan. I think so. But are you going to be so. your? It's a good match, man. We'll see. I mean, I feel good. I'm. No like one I, asked. I'm fucking, I, uh, I've been walking every morning. I've been walking three times a day, just fucking keeping my oxygen up, dead sober, fucking eating really fucking clean. Like, I'm actually a little bit lighter. I'm like 251, 252 in the morning. I've been so shitting black like, tar since I got to Ireland. Hey, I've been shitting black tar since I got to Ireland. Well, no wonder you're probably having your fucking liver's probably pickled by now. He's eating all that black pudding. If you're drinking Guinness every so day, good. it's gonna Guinness makes your fucking shit black. It does. It, it does. How the fuck would you know? You've never had a Guinness. Trust me, the Canadian Guinness makes your shit black too. <laughs> the Canadian Guinness is not real, man. I'm telling you, it's I not. I, anytime I drink, I drink the Canadian Guinness, Guinness but it's not dark. the same fucking thing, brother. It's yeah. not. You buy like you're in for a treat. We have oh, 1,200 pints of fucking Guinness, cooled oh. and ready to go for the event. I can't wait. Pains of pains of pains. And that's for the Canadian team. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> wow. We're getting after it. Black stool eating of some too. sort. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna, gonna fuck spike this. Get all There's the screens. Thirty-four. Going. There's We're thirty-four. Fucking, we died a month and a half ago. My shits are like a shotgun blast of fucking black Guinness. <laughs> it just looks <laughs> like fucking. <laughs> It's the oil that it. they would dump on people in yeah, front of yeah. castles. Exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh my god. Like every, and no joke, every fucking toilet in this house has black stains yeah. all over. Every toilet here wishes it was born a sink. Stop, drop, and roll. All right. Well, <laughs> Curtis, you got you got the baby, right? Yeah. Like, you know that fucking black tar shit that comes out of them for like the first week? My oh, yeah. That's oh, yeah. all we've got. Holy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That's Bruce, fucking it. hilarious. Isn't that what it's called? Man, like, I've had to go to the store to buy new underwear three times, right? <laughs> and I'm not buying a pair of underwear. I buy it in bulk, like the five packs. But <laughs> by far, I definitely need to throw them out. Nobody wants to wash that. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking great. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't wait to have one when oh, I get there. Uh, but are you having one before your match? or? I mean, if I do, I'm going to be, everything will be in moderation. But trust don't. me, after the match, Dude, don't. no, no, no after I'm not. three weeks, done. four weeks of being completely sober, you I'll don't even down. want one in you, buddy. As look, and that's the I'll beer wait. man saying, don't. I know. You I can even. fucking drink your fucking fill as soon as you beat him. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll probably wait. Marcus has 400 kegs. You have to wait in the parking lot and don't get any Guinness if you lose, though. That's pretty oh, extreme. 400 kegs. What? 
one of the kegs. If he ends up down a couple of matches and realizes he's not allowed to get us, like that's gonna fucking then light the him, fire back up. Have, let him have one sip. Dude, I'll let him have as much as he wants. I don't give a fuck. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm just saying, if we tell him he doesn't get any Guinness unless he wins, he's, that's gonna make you fight harder. It'll make me fucking fight. I gotta go look at I'll that. I'll fucking chat. stab the prick so he can't come back up for the last round because I want my Guinness. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay pretty straight. I'm like I said, over four weeks I'm uh I mean, I feel good. I feel good. I'm really at this fucking point healthy. eating greasy fucking food and drinking pints will fucking destroy your body. It's not gonna know how to fucking deal with it. You will feel like yeah. shit if you were to eat a fucking greasy burger right now. Pack no, your I've been, I've been eating food pretty... for the fucking travel. Don't be fucking eating greasy airport food or no, drinking no. pints until you get there, buddy. No, I've been eating guys, pretty you fucking fucked clean. Everything up. You just wasted four weeks of being so yeah. much ready for it, <laughs> yeah. and then fucking yeah. threw it all out. It's like, why the fuck did you bother doing this? Your body would respond better. <laughs> See, this is why I will never do that. Uh, one, I'm pretty sure I would die from withdrawals. But two, <laughs> if you're constantly yeah. abusing your body, your body knows how to deal with the abuse. No. <laughs> I'm gonna do a month sober. I, I've done it once before. I, I yeah, actually I just, sober. I was sober for seven years. <laughs> no, I turned eight. I, I turned eight, and then we were good. We never did that again. That was fucking bullshit. Yeah, but, like I even started doing cardio. I never do cardio. I started walking three times a day, power walking. Yeah, your fucking dedication to winning this match is absolutely disgusting. I know. Like, you quit drinking and started doing cardio. Like, those are two things that I will never, ever fucking do. Yeah, ever. as soon as they, as soon as you they, you definitely want Jordan, this more than me. As soon as they mentioned Jordan, I basically fucking, that was it. I'm like, all right, time to make some changes. But I had a little bit of issues going on. My back was kind of fucked up. Things were fucked up. All that's gone. My back's 100%. No fucking pain anywhere. No inflammation. I'm telling you, I've never felt fucking... I feel younger almost. It's fucking crazy right now. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. That sounds really good. How's yeah, your I'm fucking power, man. super healthy. Like, I can breathe. I'm not fucking out of wind. I can... Before I'd walk, I'd get that fucking cramp under the rib there, that cardio cramp. Now I can power walk around the block. No cardio cramps. This so is why I can't fucking... have serious athletes on my show. Like, it just makes me feel like a piece of shit talking to guys like this. <laughs> like, I'm legitimately worried about dying during my match because <laughs> I'm such a bag of fucking dicks. And he's talking about. Well, how you might fucking he is. bleed to death. You could po possibly bleed to death here. Your blood will be so thin. I am A okay with that outcome. <laughs> So what like in no hard, way uh... do I give a single fuck. Look, this is how many fucks I give. I wake up in the morning, I open my top drawer, and I grab ten fucks and I put them in my pocket. And then I take those ten fucks and I go do my day. And when I come home, I got twelve in my pocket because I didn't give a single fuck all day, not one for nothing. And if I saw somebody giving a fuck about something, I take it, put that in my pocket. It's coming home too. No fucks given, not from this guy. Even if you lose, no fucks given. What if you lose, though? Oh, even, if you die, yeah. he, even if he dies in battle, he probably will go to Valhalla. Death before dishonor. That's right. that's that's weird. We got a priest on site. If no. you win, though, we're Evan, gonna have a priest Evan, to give me my imagine. last rights. If I'm about to bleed out, we're okay. Evan, just imagine if you win, though. Imagine that. Oh man, I don't even know what you like. winning. Visualize you winning. Just visualize that, dude. <laughs> I don't even know how to do that anymore. Could you imagine? Though? We're way past that. We're way past that. I'm telling you, you can We're way do past it. That. If you do, though, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Just visualize winning, motherfucker. It's not like I don't want to win. Starboard, I just don't want to win as much as you do. I'm not fucking doing cardio. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Look, that's why I got into arm wrestling. It's like softball. It, like you hang out with your buddies, you get to drink all the time. It's like softball with no running. I almost have abs running for fucking arm wrestling. Like that's why I started arm wrestling because I don't gotta run. 
I almost have fucking abs, guys. Well done. I got a half of one up here, but I think it's just a cramp. <laughs> well done. I think it's a cramp, though. Uh, fuck, I can't wait to get there. That makes Brother, sense. I am so glad you didn't come early. Yeah, well, with the baby and everything, I couldn't really. Like, he was just born March 4th, right? So... It's oh, been wow. crazy here in the house, man. Her her son's been fucking sick as hell. I've been avoiding it. Somehow I haven't gotten sick yeah. at all. I'm oh, good. Oh, fuck. good. Oh, good. The baby's hey, there, your... a little colic. The baby's colic, so he's up all the time and crying all the time. She's been good though, man. She's she's enabled me to just keep fucking going here and training and doing what Very I'm nice. doing. Thank God. I mean, when Very I come nice. back, I'm gonna when, once I'm back from Ireland, I'll have to maybe take a few shifts. But she's been good, boys. Do you know oh, where man, you are on the card? That's so cool. That is so. I think cool. I'm the seventh match, I believe. And I'm the seventeenth. Yeah. I like uh, number seven's lucky for me. My my son Holden was born July seventh. Nice, yeah. nice seven I seven. What? Not bad. what I like I like I like this, the seven this, number. You're... As soon as I heard the seven number. Who was who was born July seventh? His son, My son born in seven seven. Your new one? No, he or was the... born March fourth. My okay, previous. Your other one. Yeah, hey, my five March fourth. Five... That's three four, which is seven. Curtis, I am July. Isn't 7th. that weird, Evan? The seven three are four is seven, man. Curtis, weird, I man. am July seventh. I'm July. Yeah, 8th. that's really weird. Seventh match. Son You're, born really? March fourth. The oh, seven hey, are lined up. You're not buddy. seven. You're going to be done yeah. your match and loaded drunk by the time my match comes up. Oh, fuck yeah. Can you come help pull thumbtacks out of my forearm between rounds? <laughs> Absolutely. Wear rubber gloves, man. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'll wear a suit if I have to, but yeah. I won't yeah, be you don't, you don't want my that. blood. You and save, every, and save <laughs> every blood touch tack because it can be valuable. Oh, the, fucking that Guinness looks so good. You just drank there. Yeah. I got that vaccine. I just don't think you want my blood on you. <laughs> I don't think I want your blood on me either. <laughs> Might have to work. Yeah, I'm going to say the back. Yeah, and uh, yeah, nothing uh, to I do with been, uh, anything. Said that you're 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 not going to switch sides. The refs are going to switch sides. Well, we have to. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah, but you, both your blood could end up on the same side. But right, I mean, if yeah. I've been driven into these pack, these tacks over here, and he's been driven into those tacks, I don't want to switch sides and get driven into the tacks that he was just in. No, uh, refs. Switch to the table and just yeah. How long? How long? Keep, uh, least, yeah, but uh, uh, you know what's gonna be? You know what's gonna be really ugly is if somebody does a power slip and slams their own wrist right into Ooh. the tacks. Flop wrist or press. Something. I gotta piss like a motherfucker. So do I, actually. <laughs> oh, fuck. You know yeah. what? Now I'll take the chance. Now that you are, like, we could just end the show. No, not you know, yet. You want to stay on? Are you competing in the tournament, B? B, you staying on? I don't care. Okay, well, I'll just go take a piss. I won't end the show. Normally, I just end the show when I get drunk and I don't want to fucking sit there right now, but I got to be yeah. on the back. <laughs> hey, B, B, are you pulling in the tournament? No. No? Okay. I was just wondering. I am. Yeah? Who are you? I don't even know who you are, bud. It's <laughs> a mystery. I'm bad. I don't you know anybody. Like I'm terrible with names. I was going to, but like I'm in your fucking scumbagging all week. I'm probably gonna yeah. be a scumbag the morning of the event. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it then. Yeah. How you doing? Bad, you. Exactly. Oh, I can't wait. No, I'm, you're not a scumbag to me. Porky, what's happening? How you doing, buddy? Good. You ready to roll, all right? I'm ready to roll. I'm itching to get there, bud. I know we got a whole bunch of Guinness is warmed up for you, but it's gonna have to be after, all right? I know, I know. I gotta I gotta keep the path. I gotta keep the I path. Know. One Guinness never hurt nobody. That's all I'm I gonna know, say. I know, but yeah. one Guinness never hurt no one. <laughs> I think I think one Guinness probably hurt someone at one point. Not so <laughs> no, I I know someone's thrown a Guinness off a building before and got hit, you know, somebody below got hit by one, right? So like right. what timing? 
Ask what me timing how... to decide to be sober, though, right? Like, what timing? You know, armed gods, fucking Guinness, Ireland. Guinness, my favorite beer. Hey, and here I am, going? fucking four weeks sober. <laughs> where we, guess where we're going tomorrow, Porky? Where? The Guinness Factory. Tour. Fuck. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Oh, Jesus oh. Christ. You got here. People get the me. best Guinness in the world. Right out, oh. right, out of, right out of mother's tit. Oh. Isn't that where you can see all the... Wow, my, hey? my brother was there years back. <laughs> yeah. My brother was in Ireland years back, and he said he went there. He said you could see all the pipes and all that shit, I guess. There. Wow. We're going to go right under the nozzle. Right under it. Oh, <laughs> get a picture. Somebody like, take pictures of that the stuff. Fucking, the <laughs> tank. It's going to be... Take <laughs> You got to get oh, well, some that when you're there, like drinking out of the Guinness. Just thing, think right though, how of... much more, how much more sweet, sweeter my Guinness would be after I win the match. Now, oh, wouldn't yeah. that be something? How much sweeter is it going to yeah. be after after Big B is swimming in it for a little while too? Like <laughs> Big B special match. <laughs> Where, where's uh, that yellow coming from? <laughs> it'll be a 50 50 blender. See when Bookie sat in the Puno, that's when he was doing these demos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when are you coming out? Tomorrow? Uh, me? Yeah, we fly out uh, tomorrow at 3. So I'll be there Thursday morning Thursday, at like 6 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, 6 a.m. Uh, 6 a.m. Huh? Yeah, wait. it's going to be early. I'll be up and waiting. Yeah, we'll be, right, we'll be here for you. Yeah, we landed at. Uh, 10 30 ish, yeah, yeah, you're early, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get Who'd you fly with? We're Air Canada, I'm Air Canada. Is it Spermies? Yeah, like hopefully uh, they don't lose my luggage. Fuckers. Are you going direct? No, oh, you're uh, we to go first Ottawa, country? Ottawa, Toronto, and then Toronto yeah. to Dublin. Same, mm. same. Yeah, yeah, I think, direct. uh, I think, uh, uh what's his name, there. James Pitzel there, Ermy's. Well, sorry, uh, Spermie's ass is creamy. Uh, I, I think he's on, he's probably in flight right now. Oh, he is. Uh, is he on right now, Spermie? No, he's on, man. Fuck. Oh, is he here? The old internet connection in the air. He's paying the extra, you know, cha-ching, cha-ching. You know, that's, that, that, that's dedication. Oh, he is dead. Oh, there he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. dedication as fuck. There. Okay, right there. he's there. He's here in, in chat, yeah. Well, for the North I don't know. The place is nuts. Yeah. That's not why yeah. I want to bring on. Um, we're gonna get you in the morning there, buddy. What's he gonna get you in around eleven or something like that? It's great to see you, Curtis. Man, you're looking great. Yeah, man. Thank you. You too, as well, brother. Thanks. Uh, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to all the boys getting here for sure. Oh, hey, look, uh, I, I've shown some of you, but maybe the whole uh, right beside where I'm I at stand, table. Look at this guy. He's getting my, serious. My, my table right here. With my pulley system, the pulley set system up. Oh, nice. Uh, my yeah, judo belt. Nice little plug there. Uh, Devin will be here. I've, I've, only got, I've only got, I've only got like uh, 40 pounds on there now, but I got my three inch multi spinner and 40 pounds for me, like 40 pounds with the multi spinner is fucking yeah. quite a lot. Yeah. A three inch multi spinner or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, forty. Like right now, like I'm, I'm not strong like you guys. Like, you know, but wizards no, are known for their the, the multi, the multi spinner. Everything's a lot heavier and harder on a multi spinner for sure. Mm. If you use but it right, it, but it gets all the, it gets all the. Well, how do I say? How would I? What's the exact word for that? Well, it gets all the other muscles involved it, in in the it in, in, in sta stabilize. Like it creates stability. Wrestling. It creates like stability when you start doing it well. Maybe start hooking with it more, and once you balance all those things out, then there will be no more shaking or whatever. It'll be like solid. So when when I finally get used to using that multi spinner with that weight, wow, well, wow, I'll just be a whole different person. I know. Oh, I think so. Well, you got the table that makes a huge difference too. You got yeah, the, uh, did you have the pulley system on there too, Dave? Yeah, it's right there. Wow, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, you got the low pulley, nice. That's what uh, I got here. What table do you got? Yeah. Oh, okay. Here? This is just a regular built. That's to spec table. Everything's yeah. to spec. It was built by Louis Broussard, same as the oh, pulley. It's a local build. Yeah, a local arm master guy built it. Yeah. I yeah. got all my handles, just different stuff. Yeah, do you make Wait, them yourself now, most of them? 
weights are all down here. I don't know if you can see. I got my camera yeah, yeah. kind of. Yeah, I can see. I can see. Yeah. Oh, uh, look at all those awards and stuff. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, there's just a few there. I got a couple of awards in there. National I one there. There you go. I, I I think you'll have another one after this, right? Oh, I hope so. I'm, I'm fucking. Yeah. Uh, I like the match. I, I do. I enjoy pulling strong inside. I like when somebody goes sideways rather yeah. than out. You know what I mean? He's yeah. going right sideways. I'm okay with that. I'm well, not. You know I'm how not, to, That's why I fucking love pull chops. You you know how to arm wrestle. Just and that, so just hooked, go in there I mean, and do what you know how to do, man. Yeah. I've hooked Toddzilla, and I actually held him. Not too bad. He did beat me in a hook, but it wasn't a direct pin. It was he had to surge a few times when he okay. pinned me in Toronto. Okay, really? You had to work okay. for yeah, it. And I'm yeah. definitely stronger. That match was like a year over a year ago now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he pulled six months after I pulled Todd Hutchins in Toronto, he pulled Jordan. And he just blasted through Jordan. That's a good but I would assume Jordan's much stronger now because we're now yeah. a year and a bit later. So no. I would assume Jordan's much stronger since then too, which I'm stronger now since then as well. Plus, I yeah. had my surgery, so everything's good to go. So, yeah, That's I can't wait. You're there to find out. I've Did watched his matches, and from what I see with Jordan, he does really good against top rollers. I think yeah. hookers, yeah. Yeah. it might be a little bit harder for him. Yeah. And it's interesting because that that's his game is inside. Yeah. But if you think you're trying to top roll him, you're kind of open and his side yeah. pressure so much that he gets you. Or yeah. if you can maybe, you know, come high, mm -hmm. but sweep him or something, there's yeah. a chance. Yeah. There's a chance there. No. So I can't him. wait. I can't wait. I think, I think not not too many guys have pinned me when they go directly sideways. So, I mean... Even Zurab, when he went, he didn't he didn't pin me right off the bat. I, I was able to stick him. I was a little bit off center because I wasn't firing very well that, that day. But that was, you know, when you travel far and you don't sleep, that, there's all those factors too, right? Nah. So, but now that my health's dialed in, I feel like I'm, I'll be don't a lot better to, shape. Don't listen to B. Hey, you're, don't you're even grab younger. that one. Listen to Evan here. Just do do what you're doing and keep on. Oh, going. yeah. Right to the end. Well, Evan you watch that match, Evan. But if you haven't drank in a month, no. it will definitely not be good for your system. Yeah. Like, that's a no, system. No, no, I'm going to hold off. I'm going to hold off. I'm, gonna hold off. I'm yeah. H2O in it. And uh, if anybody wants to be like, oh, what the fuck, you're not drinking? Yeah. Well, fuck them, right? I'm I'm taking it seriously. I'm against fucking Jordan son of. He's probably the most scariest fucking hooker that's fucking there. So... I got to be on my what? fucking game. Seriously, more serious. <laughs> yeah. Hooker. Hooker. Have a drink after to celebrate, man. No, no what'd you think? I hear five bunches. You're Maybe. not a hooker. Oh, did you just... Uh, did I Curtis glitch out? Did no, did you're I still there. He's the most serious. No, you're still there, I guess. Yeah, I'm here. No, no. no. What's that saying? Yeah. He's not a hooker? Jordan doesn't... Hook's not Side his age. He's, he's side pressure, unless he's going to top roll, but he's, he's all side. He's all about through the top of his hand, but he said he was going to hook with you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, so, you know, that's maybe he can, maybe he can't, but if I was Jordan's coach, I would call him a fucking idiot for saying I'm going to hook a pork chop. Put more beers for the magazine. Like, it's interesting because if he's truly going sideways on my arm, Evan, what do you think? Like, you know what I mean? Is he truly going to go completely sideways like he usually does? Like, I can't wait to see it. I'm, I'm I game. Mean, I seen, love when some. I've seen some video of him that makes me think if Porkchop is in top form and he tries doing that, it's going to be a it's going to be a good day for my boy. There's some data. There's some but data. Then I've, I've seen some other videos of him. Where it's like, oh man, there's a reason this motherfucker is that good. Yeah, for sure. He does really well with top rollers. He fucking opens them up, right? And he just fucking smashes them to the side. Wait, we'll show you what I can say, boys. Watch us. This is our lesson. You're learning. I've watched a few of his training videos. I notice he uses a strap a lot. A lot of strap. And do you like the strap on? 
No, like he puts the strap on his hand and he puts his shoulder already committed and he does this. Yeah, but do you like the strap on? He did 81 kg, I think it was, which is what, 170 pounds? What? 81? But that's already like full shoulder, full strap, right? That's nothing attacking your wrist. That's just you're already there going like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I wonder what he could do with a, like an actual handle that spins. Because I know my numbers are right with him with a spinning handle on a drag hook. So no, I so think it's much need, closer need, than people need, would think. As long as I thought you said kill uh, Fox. I well, I'll be watching. I'll be watching with the pay per view, and uh, I'll be there in yeah. spirit with you. But uh, I wish I could be there in person, man. But anyway, I think you're maybe we awesome. should have Marcus like use uh, his Aikido wrist locks and hurt Jordan. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> well, I mean, Marcus was pretty fucking tough. He used his fucking judo there to hurt fucking Stephanie's poor little wrist, and he beat me up, please. <laughs> Maybe we could put his judo to good use, and he could fucking. <laughs> no, we did have a little. That's show. fucking. Wrestling. I'm excited to see uh, images of the venue, but I know you guys probably aren't going to go there till the to the time of it. The event. yeah, how is the venue? Is it a big venue, small Dude, venue? It's know. in fucking Ireland. It's fucking incredible. Everything here is awesome. You're a fucking loser for being sober in Canada and not fucked up with us here in Ireland. <laughs> but as of Saturday evening. We could fix oh, it. that shit's going to change, buddy. I'm going to fucking hit the switch Saturday evening, bud. You know that. <laughs> Trust me, buddy. Trust me. <laughs> you don't get it, man. They're the There's old dogs still in there, there boys. So the old dog still me. there. He's just fucking itching. He's deep down there just watching. Oh, there's a Valley Boy somewhere inside of there. Oh, he's there, buddy. He's fucking I mean, retarded, They make him too. different in the Valley, I'm telling you. Nobody loves Armgold's Mail and Ivy. I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You're fine. Go ahead. Why don't you go ahead outside and start practicing? Nice, uh, fucking nice I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> fucking talk to me like that, you motherfucker. Long <laughs> job, buddy. No fighting for me, boys. I don't fight anymore. Nice, buddy. Nice fucking shirt, bud. Oh, oh, that's, that's, that's a beauty shirt. You're going to have shirt. a good time, buddy. That's uh, a nice shirt. White, white the wolf. white wolf. I love it. Nice you know what, though, Porto? I kind of feel bad for you about this match. Why? Who is that? Well, Porto versus Jordan Sonoff. Yeah. Right. This could potentially be a really fucking big match, like world level implications on it. I'm thinking, oh, right? it is coming up. And it's just going to get overshadowed. Oh, yeah, by the by tag because match. there's a tack match at the end of the night. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Buddy, by fuck? then I won't give a nah. fuck. You... <laughs> <laughs> like, I just oh, be bad for you. Like, you, you guys are the oh, higher switch. level of arm wrestling than we are, but we're doing a fucking tack match, so we're yeah. getting all the shine. It's, it's crazy. crazy. It's fucking dumb. crazy, bud. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, but I don't have to wait for my match to start drinking. Yeah, true. So I get to start drinking before him that day. Yeah. You and get to start drinking when you get up. Your end. blood will be thin, so thin. It's going to be like. Do you think the there's area. any chance well, of right me now. not drinking every day up Evan, to the event? Evan Watts no. has well, blood. Have zero. Yeah. Zero. No. Negative 10. Still training. He wants it as thin as possible so he can spray Pork it top. out the crowd. I've been training in drop sets, drop sets since I got here. Yeah. I do a 16 ounce curl, then a 12, <laughs> then an eight, then a four, and then I start over. What's the last, <laughs> what's, what's the last you one? You gotta start doubling up. Start doubling up your reps. Oh no, no, I don't really need my right arm. <laughs> you have a match at the press conference, don't mm -hmm. you? The right arm? Fuck me, I do too. I'm gonna have to get drunk for that one too. Absolutely. I pulled him right arm in Toronto. And yeah, it was quick. <laughs> did he whoop your right hand too? No, fuck no. Why did he whoop your left? I had Artem first, and I just blew. Artem's our left's really fucking good, man. I just blew up like a fucking blow up. 
boom, left was blown up, and that was pretty much the end of my left after Artem. That was probably my favorite use of the English language on this show ever. Okay. I just blew up like a blow up. Yeah. yeah, buddy. Pretty much. Yeah, but yeah, funny. <laughs> That's me, boys. Simple. Uh, uh, no, my Jack. left arm, my Blood. left arm totally just fucking blew right the fuck up after Artem. And then I pulled, who else did I pull? It's funny because your right and your left are so different like that. If your left arm, your left arm stays good for a long time as long as you're good. As soon yeah. as you get fucking open yeah. once it's like it's just fucking done it's, it just doesn't hold up it does not but you're hold right up. you can get open and come right back into it and you're still good yeah yeah it holds up much better my right and arm. you're left-handed weird eh yeah weird you know, there's only two things i really well maybe uh, it's not bad my left when it's on arm wrestling but I, I write with my left and throw a jab with my left that's about it other than that everything's right so I got two rules. Don't touch my fucking Percocets. And do you have any fucking Percocets? <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to find a Kinder Egg and fucking smuggle some through their fucking uh, you're, customs. You're doomed if you try to take that in. Okay. It's hard to just can it. Um, no, no, like, I mean, that works okay for jail. You don't do that on internationals. Like, that stand-up <laughs> x-ray they give you, you can see it clear as day. No shit, I'm, I'm just fucking don't around. Do that. I'm not going to stick a kid. Don't do that. If you're serious, if you're serious, buddy, like, call me up afterwards. We'll talk, but don't do that. <laughs> Porky, which way do you shoot? Shoot right, left or you shoot right? I shoot left, golf right. <laughs> Five foot fucking four. He doesn't play hockey. Throw right. Punch <laughs> <laughs> left. <laughs> Pork chop would kill people on the ice. Yeah, because he can't walk and skate. It's the only way he's going to go. I was the goalie. He's a goalie. 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 He's a fucking pylon. There's no way he can skate. He's that's why everybody you don't know me very well. I can skate circles around you, bud. (laughs) Like if I'm standing still. Played hockey my whole life. Right. Well, who hasn't? We're all Canadian. (laughs) There you go. I have it. I'm Canadian. I mean, I'm not good at skating. I like to fall down a lot, but I, I am fast. I suck at skating. I'm the best skate on the world. David, no. why do you need to make every conversation about you? It's weird. Because he's the man. Look at him. Leave David alone. Well, thanks. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm. He's a fucking wizard, Wolf. I yeah, know. I didn't mean <laughs> to make it about myself. I made it put a fucking spell on me. No, listen to him. He's just a bully. We'll, we'll be done in. Curtis, that is rather rude of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You're very polite and nice. You're always very nice. Look, I didn't Crazy say. Is, I, 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 I said, it. don't listen. It's my goddamn show. God damn it. Uh, oh, <laughs> well, see, for that, for that uh, upcoming uh, match. Uh, I'm actually focusing all my energy on Evan for to win. So uh, I think he, he can do it. I think every Evan can fucking he's do this. I did my psycho bullshit. There's no pressure on energy. Evan. There's no pressure. Well, well there is not. Well, he's supposed all to all the lose. time. I don't feel pressure except blood pressure. I get that problem. Well, <laughs> you know, no, we're going to lose the blood pressure as soon as we open the veins a little bit. You know? Just your, your liver and that. It's pickled and your blood's thin from all the alcohol. It's okay. Dude, as long as you're not bleeding liver, from the ears or the eyes, you're good. Amazing. Yeah. My liver is I'm going to fucking... You know what I'm going to do, Evan, before your match? I'm going to switch to rye. And then I'm going to come over before your match. I'm going to give you a nice slap to fire you up. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Don't is that what you oh, need? Brother, go grab that bottle. <laughs> Evan. Don't give me right. We got some fucking whiskey here, bud. The no, no, no. Evan, I'll, you need uh, an open hand before this right, right match to wake you up? At the back. Right at the very back. Oh. Oh, Jesus. You were making a mess, Wolf. I know. Like, if you're looking for the good whiskey, it's at the back. Oh, not the whiskey. We want the... Uh, the guitar case? The no, uh, yeah, we'll get that one, too. But where's the engine oil? Oh, that's right in front of you. Literally right in front of you. Look straight. Yeah, that was the, uh, well, that's not right. That's gin. And then there's that one. But the good whiskey is at the back there. You got that. Oh, nice. That's See, I'm a, I'm a, 
I'm not a big fan of fucking Jack Daniels. Me fucking Ooh. either, but look at this fucking thing. Yeah, that's cool. I don't even drink I, Jack. I like Weiser's. I'm simple. I like Weiser's, bud. Dude, that is what you that's, chug at the fucking table. That looks fucking, now that's awesome. But no, oh, there, there you go. Oil, That's what I'm talking about. Red you know breast. That, you know Bugger what that oil? gin can? That gin can reminds me of the over the top. Over the top, yeah. Oil. Drinking the fucking motor oil. Yes, yes. Now look, we got fucking booze here, ready to go, boy. Bubble gum, dude. This is epic. Oh, where's the Fuck cases? Me. Where's the like fucking ten cases. Of I'm going to be twelve drunk. bottles of liquor. Like we're fucking ready to go. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. And this is just the after party. Well, I mean, we're going to try not to drink most of it until then, but this is after party booze. Nice. Jameson. I like the fucking. We got a Jameson. little bottle of Jameson with the label upside down. Ah, uh, Frida, whatever the fuck that is. Is there any Wisers or nice rye later. there? That's weird. Is there any good rye there? Irish whiskey. Jameson. Yeah. Upside down label, man. Save it. I like. And this is stuff sitting on the counter. Like the fridge is fucking full. Oh my god. We're ready to go. Heart attack. Huh? Fuck, I'd say. I really like that gin, though. That gin, uh, gin can. Oh, the bottle fucking... of fucking motor oil. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's fucking, fucking amazing. Awesome. Classic, and yeah. of course, you got about fucking thirty of those. I can't stand most Canadians. Canadians. Oh, me yeah. neither. But look, can't if I'm gonna, if I gotta like... hit somebody with a beer can, it's gonna be a Canadian that gets that. You most Canadian. <laughs> in the first case I ever. More drank. top. If I'm hitting fall. somebody with a beer can, it's gonna it's be a Canadian. Well, yeah, you should sure. have like a little. That's you all that's good you're getting hit by a Canadian with a Canadian against a former Canadian. You almost yeah, need a belt it. with like a beer holster that holds like a six pack, so for like ammo in like yeah, yeah, it. like I want like the, the shotgun belt except for beers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, only yeah, time yeah. I might drink Canadians, fucking in like a fucking yeah, I don't even like it. Maybe I would have the first out of blue. You your you're before. already half cut. You're drinking Canadian. Oof. Out of a pitcher, maybe, but that's about it. Not out of the can. I hate Canadian. Blech. All right, so you're out at the bonfire. We're having a good practice. We're having a good time. We're all fucked up on mushrooms. We run out of yeah, all I the mean, beers except Canadian. Probably. Well, that's but, all you uh, got. Okay, what about if you had? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's never going to sure. happen. It's never going to happen because none of us drink Canadian. But I have <laughs> no. Canadian here <laughs> because I'm, I'm in Ireland. I'm Canadian. I want to hit people with Canadians. Ah. It's almost yeah. on the level of Guinness here. Guinness, you can leave at a party here in somebody's fridge and they won't touch it. Canadians, almost the same. You can sit in the fridge. <laughs> Nobody will touch it. Menu the same way. What do you mean? Nobody will touch it. I love it. Canadian. Curtis, almost feel free to bring a fridge full of Guinness over to my place and leave it, expecting it not to get touched. <laughs> well, no, you'll probably drink it, but I mean, typically, every goddamn it. time. At least nobody here in the it. city. Every time. Buddy Hale, someone is dying. Why are your tits so big? Uh, who knows? I think it's probably genetics or something, right? I like it. Oh, it's good. Chest breast. Later, right? Chest That's breast. the real red breast. Dog. Chest flies. <laughs> That's it, man. Look at this guy. Oh, is it feeding oh. time already? Yes, the Arm God's Army. All right, guys. Look, um, <laughs> it's like jesus christ we gotta be out what, what, what time what, is it there like 3 30 and we gotta be up at fucking nine to go to dublin to pick people up from the airport um i don't know if i'm allowed to lose my license for impaired in ireland if that counts in canada probably bad oh, fuck i wouldn't even attempt to drive there yeah well here's I couldn't smoke because it's confusing. But drunk as fuck, it doesn't matter which side of the road I'm on. Fuck it, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> well, if you're on the left, you're on the right. See, exactly. Perfect. No problem. Right. Look, if you can understand being on the left to be on the right, yeah. we're good. Well, so you got to get drunk enough to do that. So the only way I can do it is by doing this. So we got to go pick people up at the airport in Dublin in the morning. I'm not actually planning on doing that. I'm just telling them that I am so I can steal the vehicles to go to Dublin because we're doing the Guinness tour in the morning. Oh, 
Fuck, I'd love, that. Fuck, and, I'd love uh, to be stuck while yeah. I'm there. Yeah, I got take as much up video. To do. Take as much video as you can, man. When you're I, there, I will not be doing that. That's going to be but Big B, B takes a video. Okay, okay. All kinds of blackmail, fucking video forthcoming. Not by me. All right, all right. Why would he video? How long? Videos? How long are you staying, Evan? When? How long you guys? When do you guys leave? Um, I think I leave April seventh. April seventh. April seventh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. You know, have to go sometime. Well, I wasn't able to stay for a full month. <laughs> right? Like, I've got other duties. So I came here on the 13th. I'm leaving on the 7th. That's as close to a month as I could get. Thank goodness. That's pretty month. decent. Yeah, I'm I there think short. most people are leaving on, like, the 25th and 6th, the Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever. Yeah, yeah I, I leave Tuesday morning. Oh, that's fucking super gay. At least I have fucking Saturday night, Sunday, Monday. Yeah. A week and a half later. Oh, my God. No, because I wanted, I'd love to fucking see some shit there while I'm there. Fuck. Dude, here's the problem. You will never have time to see the shit you want to see because we are way too drunk all the time. Fuck. But you can't go do Irish things while being sober. <laughs> no it's shit. not Irish. Or no. Right. Oh, is Ricey in the chat? Dude, his fucking feet would never touch the goddamn ground on a bike. Get those old flat riders. They're fucking Dude, I ride an ultra low because of my short ass legs. And, and, dude, my fucking hips come up to his tits. (laughs) I fucking do. So what you're saying? Yeah, right. Right. He could not ride. No, no. So we've been talking about going riding around Ireland. Oh, man. Anybody that's into riding, fuck. Some nice, nerdy what a place this is! Yeah. Those fucking mountain oh, passes, oh, yeah. dude. We will definitely die. We'll die. We'll definitely yeah. die. But we'll die happy. Oh, yeah. smile on my face. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> Let's do it. I gotta bleed to death first on hey, Saturday. What we're doing uh, in Dublin. We check out the bikes. Let's rent bikes yeah. on Sunday. Yeah. You're gonna be fucking chewed right. by Let's Sunday. Bikes on Monday. Monday. We, oh. We're not doing anything on Sunday. I fly out Monday, yeah. but we could die and. So it doesn't matter. We'll rent bikes to bring to Dublin so you can fly. Yeah. yeah. That'll be work. That'll work out. Yeah. B, no. you're going to have to ride the bike back. Some, one of those, uh, some of those hurlies. Oh, All right. A couple of guinea will be ready to go. That's how it goes. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. If I'm you a, have not signed up at rightgods.com to watch this fucking event, you are out of your fucking mind. There is some really good arm wrestling matches RBJ versus James Wall, Bresden versus Mendogas. Fucking pork chop, Jordan Sana. Fucking BLM is going to absolutely destroy that fucking Bogdan prick. And to top that all off, nobody cares about any of those matches because yours truly is in a thumbtack match. There will be blood. This shit is going to be out of control. If you have not signed up, $4.99. You are out of your fucking minds. $4.99 $4.99 to watch the two loudest mouth pricks in the sport bleed. Oh, yeah. This is what it's all about. Sign the fuck up. Oh, Eight bucks oh, Canadian. Oh. 